The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host, Scotty Gurman, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, kind of as usual, yeah, I've got Derek the Wreck Alders back. Woo! I'm yeah, fucking loving one, it. That was the wrong one, but that's okay. One of us is super excited. Yeah. I'm so excited to have him back. But apparently there's a rule, and that is that uh, uh, Jeremy is not allowed to work with you I anymore. I don't work with him. <laughs> <laughs> I've said it several times. We refuse to do shows together, so I have to stay off to the side. Okay. It's too much sexual tension. That's exactly yeah, I right. I paid enough for that. <laughs> but anyways, we also do have the most hilarious comedian. He is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. I like how I'm pushing both buttons so I don't fuck it up. Yeah. You know what? Standing up's a fucking chore. Yeah, I'm it not, is. Uh, I'll, I'll fucking make sacrifices this time. This That's week. Okay. That's okay. That's great. I, it's, I'm excited to have finally the original crew back. It's great to have both of you here. I love all of you. I wish we could actually, you know, like uh, show what everybody that watches this show, like what how you guys actually treat me off camera. I think that would be really fun. <laughs> well, they see it on camera all yeah. the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we under- really don't switch it off that much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, it's true. Just understand that when we are nice to you off camera, uh, we don't mean we're it. acting. Yeah, we don't mean it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Love you too. Uh, but anyways, welcome in to another great episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. If this is the very first time you are watching an episode or listening to an episode, this is. A- a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're pretty much always targeted towards me and I'm fine with it. And also, this is an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong fucking place. Get out of here. Thank you. Bye. Woo! We got a fucking jam-packed show today, boys. There's a whole bunch of, like, sports-ish news to go over, so we're going to do that. Yeah, like Sam Haggerty going on the IL with his left groin. Yeah, yeah, Mm -hmm. no kidding. Um, uh, Loretta Lynch died. There's that. Isn't that her name? Loretta Lynch? No, who's the country singer that just passed Loretta Lynn. Lynn. (laughs) Close enough. You're talking about the coal miner's daughter? (laughs) No, we're talking about the attorney at law. Her grandfather was the lyncher. She (laughs) was... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, No, we got, uh, would you do it for 10K, real shit or horse shit, overrated or underrated, and questions and preguntas. I like to think that she was an Ice Cube's (laughs) lynch mob. (laughs) Loretta Lynch mob. Yeah. Yes. That was her. Uh, yeah. that, was her <laughs> that was her street name, Derek. Loretta Lynch mob. I <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but we also, as I'm always, lost for words. <laughs> I'm not a complete loss for fucking words. Why, right. Loretta Lynch? <laughs> what? Why? Why not, Loretta Lynch mob? Did you? Did, I don't even know if she really died now. Yeah, she did. Because <laughs> I can't trust a fucking thing that comes out of your mouth. <laughs> you confuse dying and. Well alive. <laughs> okay, fair. Uh, but we also have a draft, as usual, another shitty situation. Uh, but, yeah, before we get off to that stuff, we've got guys that have been gone for quite a while and haven't been together for a little while. So um, we're going to start off with me this week for our week-week recap to tell everybody what's happened over I don't us. recall voting on that. But, I'm just uh, saying. No, you, <laughs> you guys. You guys this is an unapproved <clears throat> order change right that's here. That's totally true. No, but you guys are the crescendos. You guys are the ones everybody wants to see, and I'm just going to make mine uh, short and sweet. Uh, I got to uh, hang out with my family a lot this week. My dad came up from Western Kansas, so me and Good Fred... Good for you, bragging about yeah, your fucking family. That's right. Yeah, that's a great Look fucking family. Look at me. Family. I have parents and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, yeah, cool. we got 
to uh, go to a nice dinner one night, which uh, was uh, Newport Grill, which I know Derek has frequented a couple of times. I've been once. That was oh, enough. Okay. Uh, it was awesome. Uh, but the coolest- Is this the place that kept <clears throat> burning your fucking steak? No, that was the uh, Chester's. Ah. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Uh, no, this is a seafood place. It's very, very oh, okay. d- delicious. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, but Wonderful uh, seafood in Kansas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> they fly it in. Meadows there. and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but I also, I actually did something really, really cool. Me and my brother wanted to get away. And so uh, me, my brother, my, and our spouses uh, went and saw Avatar at the IMAX 3D did deal. That last week. Fucking that was awesome. Was it as cool for you? That was fantastic. It? Oh, my God. It was so cool. I've watched the Avatar multiple, multiple times. Never seen it like that. Holy shit. That's fucking amazing. I think Judge I just hit 62. IMAX. I think he did just hit 62. We are uh, recording this and watching uh, live baseball, so I think uh, Judge is now the single-season home run king because if you count Barry Bonds, you are full of shit. No matter what, he's the American and, League. And McGuire and, right. and, and Sosa, too. And and Sosa, too. But he didn't do it in 154 games, so put an asterisk by it okay whatever fuck off uh but yeah so that was it was an amazing experience if you still have the opportunity to go to it has to be the 3d imax uh avatar it's fucking awesome why are you encouraging our fucking listeners to kill themselves i don't know because that's what that movie will do to you that <laughs> no. is such a shit movie oh, oh whatever it's fantastic it's fantastic dude they should just call it land of the heavy-handed metaphor i i really did find out that i am terrified of heights from watching it in the 3d it's not as scary I, as did, in like 2d did what? you watch IMAX? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's when I, I saw it in the theater that way. There is a, a scene where, like, after a big battle and there's, like, ash floating around, and I swore to God I could, like, feel it hitting my fucking nose. <laughs> yes. It's fucking weird. Yeah. That is weird. That is – that's probably the best – 3D graphics I've ever seen yeah. on a movie. It was amazing. Uh, you never seen Jaws 3D. Yeah, you I did, <laughs> actually. I, I most certainly did. Uh, in the theater. Yeah. When, when it first came out. Yeah, um, that's the best 3D graphics. Sure, it is. Wearing those fucking cardboard red and blue glasses. Absolutely. That's I, mean, the best it, I mean, he was like... He, I knew he was a long ways away, but it was almost like he was a little bit closer. It was like you were in the ocean. <laughs> yeah. yeah, almost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Part of it was the pee. Still scares the. Yeah. It sure is. Still scares the fuck out of me. I hate every Jaws movie. I just love just peeing terrifying. Your pants. Yeah. You ever seen a 4D movie, Jeremy? I have. Well, yeah. not. I haven't seen a movie. I went on a interactive ride, a 4D interactive Star Trek ride in Las Vegas once. Oh, oh did you? That's cool. Yeah. I, I've done the uh, ones at Universal, which are pretty interesting. Yeah, I think I think the best 4D movie ever was uh, Dark Knight Rises. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, because you could actually die in it if you went and saw it in Colorado. <laughs> oh, sure, yeah, that's yeah, true. It's fantastic. Yeah, so realistic. Very, it's extremely realistic. Uh, but I still love Jeselnik's tweet. Yep. <laughs> Other than that, that was the movie. movie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but last but not least, uh, I actually uh, I met one of our listeners. Uh, he's a huge fan of us uh, at work. The the person that I was talking about a couple episodes ago actually visited Derek would my, 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 my work. Jeremy, I swear to God, if you don't fucking grab another pen, I'm going to throw something at you. Good. No. Because it won't get here, you I, fucking limp-wristed I'm girl. Blowing, Try I'm getting it here, loading, Nancy. I'm loading up, <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yeah, load up a little bit more. Uh, I got a wall kind of in between us. Okay, that's fine. Pretty much. Just it just keeps it getting bigger and bigger. right over it, Adam. Uh, but anyways, uh, I met a, a gentleman named Adam. It was very, very nice to meet you. It's just really weird when you see somebody and you're at work. First off is is that when you're at work, I'm supposed to be working. Was it my cousin, Adam? No. Did he have a mustache? No. Wasn't him then. No. Um, was it Adam Driver? Yeah, that's totally who it was. Sweet. Yeah, so pretty sexy. fucking amazing. Uh, but no, I, I was at work and I'm already not supposed to like be doing certain things. And that's like one of them is like talking to people if somebody else has already told or talked to them. So you don't want to say something that, that's wrong or whatever like that. And I had no idea it was it was Adam. But like there's nothing wrong with your so, car. They told me I needed a new engine. <laughs> no, no. Uh, but so I kind of like just said, oh, yeah, Ed's over here. And I started walking over to where he was and kind of my brother. Off. Ed. Yeah, not your brother. No. OK. Uh, but it turns out he he's he tells me who he is. Oh shit! Yeah. So luckily I'm not wearing anything that has our company name on it because we had like a jeans day. So I was wearing a fucking Lions jersey, and uh, so he wanted a picture. I was happy to take a picture uh, with him, and it was it was a cool experience. It made my day. I was really happy about it. So uh, shout out to you, Adam. Uh, yeah. Thanks, man. All right. He's jacking off to that photo. Mm-hmm. You know that, right? I 
Maybe. Yeah, he is. Except I'm, he's cropped you out of it. I'm pretty yeah. fucking hot. Yeah, just just look at him. him. <laughs> he just likes the way he's propped up on you. He finally, he's the first person that just watches a show that doesn't realize how fucking short Scotty is. Yeah, but, did he Did he marvel at what a fucking dwarf you are? No, he, he didn't say anything, but I know he was thinking it. Oh, he had to be. 100%. There's no way you can look at you and not look at you and go, what Jesus a fucking freak. Christ, he's look short. tiny little shit ass. Yeah, like the first thing I think if people see Scotty in person, are like they think like, Oh, his nuts stink. Like, <laughs> no, I my wrists. It. And I then, then they get close to your wrist. Yep. That's yeah, right. The nuts are nothing like, to give me a to worry sniff. About. <laughs> give, I'll give you a free sniff. All right, but yeah, that was my week. Uh, so, man, we have been without you for it feels like forever. So, uh, Derek, how have you been over the last several weeks? <laughs> I've been here at once. Yeah, that's true. We were here with Fred, but not yeah. with Jeremy because you guys aren't allowed to work together. No, no, it's the sexual no. tension. That's right. Yeah, you got a knife because you can cut it right now. <laughs> I'm calling HR as soon as this episode. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you know this. Jeremy sexually harasses me. <laughs> <laughs> not sexually. He harasses me very sexually. Very sexually. Yes, <laughs> and it's it's hard to take. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, I just, I, I got to keep my hands to myself. You should. Uh, no, this last week, uh, my uh, mother-in-law and niece were in town and I came home from work and they came home about 10 minutes after I got home from work. And I think they bought everything in the goddamn store because there were just bags on bags on bags of shit. I don't know what they bought. Yeah. They you just know what bought store? all of them. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's what they do. They like to go out and just shop all goddamn day. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the next day we got up and went garage sailing, which was, that's what you need. More shit. (laughs) More More shit. shit. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, we decided, I I was like, well, I'll fucking go. Right. And my niece was going ape shit over fucking beanie babies. She thought that they were worth a lot of money. Oh, and I'm like, God damn. Did that come full fucking decade? Does she live in? (laughs) Right. She's 10. Uh Oh, and she's calling her mom. No, they got this one and this one. And yeah, there's a reason why it's fucking Sunday (laughs) and nobody's bought them on the last day of the garage sale. (laughs) She should be talking to Dan, the man. Yeah. Yeah. He sunk all of his fucking money back then into (laughs) Baby. Did he really? Yes. He still got boxes and boxes of them. Oh Oh, my God. So did my mother. Yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. So yeah, but she probably did it to collect them. Dan did it as an investment that still has yet to pay off. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, right uh, after he bought all that stock in Circuit City, mm-hmm. thought they were going to overtake Best Buy. Yeah, that, that <laughs> yeah. was right about the time. Yeah. And then he uh, got that job as manager of Radio Shack. Sure. Um, but <sighs> <laughs> I ended up, uh, we ended up going to the zoo after that. Ooh, fun. First time in my last four trips to a zoo or a wildlife refuge that I did not see animals fucking. No kidding. That's very disappointing. disappointing. Yeah. Very disappointing. My goodness. Yes, I was very sad about that. Did you try showing him porn? Uh, I tried fucking one to get it in the oh. mood. Just like maybe, hey, the, yeah. the other tourists would see it and be like, hey, I kind of want some of that action. Sure. You Tortoises know what I mean? are fun to watch. Fun. Absolutely. They're cucks. Yeah. Uh, big time cucks. They fuck so slow. I cannot tell if they're making love or if that's just how they angry fuck. We make the same noise, though. Uh-huh. Me and tortoises both. Uh, that's what we sound like. That's amazing. So, yeah, they call me the human tortoise. That's amazing. Uh, not just because nice. of my speed. Yeah. So uh, we did that. <laughs> and then yesterday I did the uh, the Almost Late Show uh, down at Vorchez, mm-hmm. which oh. was very fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's like uh, Steve has it set up to where it's like a Tonight Show type thing. He comes up and does it like a monologue about the news. Uh, plays does he some- get Ed McMahon there? He does <laughs> not. Huh. No, he gets his brother, Ted McMahon. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. That's okay. So, yeah. He's probably a lot less money. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, he's way cheaper. Way it's like Dave Coulier's brother. Yes. Yeah. Sure. yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. So uh, him and Levi Mabe host the show. And uh, yeah, I went up. I did about 12 minutes of comedy. Did a, quite a bit of new things for me. Do I know uh, Levi Mabe? I don't think so. Okay. Well, no, he was in the contest this past year. Okay, so I fourth. have seen him. He took fourth. He's the guy that like yeah, he was raised in church and talks oh, about being in yeah. church all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't vote for him. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, I, they said the show went really well. I did an interview. Like, it was, you know, I did the comedy, and then I came and sat in the chair. We did an interview for, like, five, ten minutes, and it was a blast. And then they had uh, Dalton, who's in our fantasy league. Yeah. Uh, he was the musical guest, which just was fucking fantastic. Uh, he's in a band called The Planes here in Wichita. Like airplanes? Oh, I, I was sincerely hoping you would say he doesn't even play an instrument he doesn't <laughs> he just and he doesn't sing he's no he, he sings but he uh 
he was the musical guest, and his musical guest was he just did a diss rap on Steve. Oh, nice. <laughs> and it was Good. fucking incredible. He shows up in a black and white Adidas track suit <laughs> with the bucket hat. Needed the fur. Didn't have the fur on the Adidas bucket hat. Sweet. But uh, walks up, just gets fucking an inch from Steve's face. <laughs> <laughs> and then starts talking about fucking his wife in a rap. <laughs> <laughs> and it was fantastic. That's great. And then once it was done, we were talking after the show, and Steve's like, I have to write a rebuttal rap now. This is going to be terrible. And I said, <laughs> what you should do is next time when you have that rebuttal rap written, you should let Dalton host the show, and you should be the musical guest. <laughs> I I think that that's going to be great just for the fact that Steve has a great rapper's voice. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. You can tell he's built for hip-hop. <laughs> yeah, oh, for sure. <laughs> Jim Gaffigan would do a rap he, track. He made a line, a Jim Gaffigan reference in that rap, actually. <laughs> It was, dude. It was very well written. It very, it was very well done. So the non-comedian came and showed you up in comedy. Wow. Uh, no, it was different. It's different song. It's way different. No, he showed you up. Okay, I didn't even fair. see it, but I'm going to say it. All yeah. right, that's fair enough. Yeah. So no, it was a, it was a good time. So that that was what uh, that was what I did, and I got a filling, which fucking sucked. during the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was the live uh, live audience portion. <laughs> they s- uh, they take a guy from the crowd, <laughs> just and you come up and you get to fill my teeth. No, oh, your wow. teeth. Oh, your teeth. Do they get to? Do else. you at least get to pick the tooth? Uh, no, that is part. They spin the oh, wheel. Oh man! <laughs> spin the wheel and whatever tooth they land on. Spin the fucking uh-huh. wheel. Right upper by cusper. <laughs> yeah, Shit, that's yeah. my favorite tooth. I know. I was praying molar. <laughs> yeah, uh, nobody fucking needs those. Now, nah. so uh, yeah, they put the. Uh, that was the shitty part of doing that show. Is my fucking right side of my face was completely numb. <laughs> Still that late at night? Oh yeah, because I got my late show. Isn't it? it started at seven thirty, and I got oh. my filling at five. Oh, well, I thought it started like eleven or some shit. They injected me at five with lidocaine, and then uh-huh. they gave me. They leave that needle in for fucking ever, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and they finally got it out, and then he hits me again, and I'm like, fuck. And so he's like, "All right, we're gonna let that sit in. We'll come back in about." however fucking long it was and he comes back in like 10 minutes later and they start to work on me and he starts drilling and he gets maybe a minute in and my feet hit the fucking ceiling oh my god they didn't have enough enough? of that Uh -uh. Uh -uh. that's a pretty low ceiling oh that was fucking awful (laughs) and he he's like oh let me know if you're all right you okay and i was like yeah and then he hits again i was like nope nope we're done here and uh he had to come back and hit me again with more of that shit. So by the time I my chin itched and I couldn't scratch it. Have you ever had that fucking happen? <laughs> mm-hmm. That's the worst. Like no matter what Every I do. Every time I get Novocanda. Oh, it's so awful. So yeah, I'm doing that show and I'm like fucking trying not to drink because I'll just have water slobbering out the right side <laughs> wow. of my mouth. Are you Jim Rossing it up? Oh, it was awful, man. Oh, wow. I, but I didn't slur or anything, which I've done shows on Jameson where I slurred plenty. <laughs> so yeah. It's like yeah. that scene in Marathon Man. Uh-huh. You ever seen that? No. Dustin Hoffman, when they're they're torturing him, trying to get information out of him that he doesn't have, and so they just basically hold his mouth open and drill a <laughs> hole in his front fucking tooth. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, well, I'm never going to watch it, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. It's it's fucking hard to watch. It Sp- makes my mouth hurt. Watching. Keep laughing, assholes. <laughs> yeah, spo- I cannot. Spoiler. Mm. Yeah, that's all. That's oh, bad. fuck. <laughs> that's my week. <laughs> Okay. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, well, it was going you? great till I got here. <laughs> then I found out I had to work with Derek, and now I got to sexually harass him. Yeah. Uh, um, I actually didn't have too bad of a week. Nothing really eventful. I didn't even have to work. That's uh, great. Yeah, that's the first time in three weeks that I haven't had to work a weekend. So uh, on Saturday morning, my wife and I went out to breakfast. They just opened a new breakfast place not too far from my house. Mm. And so we went there, and... Um, Breakfast was fine. Uh, Jimmy's Egg is the name of the place. It's oh, a local yeah. chain. Uh-huh. Um, but uh, we got there pretty early. There wasn't a whole lot of people in there, but there was this uh, these two guys sitting at a table. It looks like they were getting ready to go fishing. And as right after we ordered, this guy walks in. Big, windy, boisterous motherfucker. Local business owner. Comes over. Apparently, he knows one of these two guys. And, uh, you know, goes over and shakes his hand, says hi, and... And he's like, hey, do you know my friend Steve? And no, we haven't met. And they, you know, he's talking way too loud, telling him all the inside information about what he does for a living and all this shit that nobody asked for. But uh, food comes. I'm able to kind of tune this guy out for about 10 minutes. 
he's still fucking there <laughs> talking to this guy. <laughs> and uh, just for whatever reason, in a far louder tone of voice, he goes, no, 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 no. That's not what I'm about. I'm trying to bring back customer service to the overhead door industry. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say <laughs> that made you get upset? And what makes you brag about that? <laughs> Where did it go? Are there overhead door companies that don't have good customer service? I guess that one that tried to fuck me over. <laughs> yeah, that, that uh, one. But that was more, you know, the actual service guy who came out. Their customer service was fine when I complained about it. But um, no, the uh, the it was just kind of one of those those things that gets stuck in your head. And I thought about it all fucking weekend, and I still cannot come up with a scenario as to what that guy must have said <laughs> just to upset him to that level. You're just trying to sell people garage doors. No, no, no. That's not what I'm about. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I am. Because, yeah. you know, it is an overhead door business. It's like, sir, I live in an apartment. Yeah, but you need a garage door. You're just <laughs> yeah. trying to sell people garage doors. That's not what I'm about. <laughs> you need a garage door on your car. <laughs> Let me pimp your ride. I don't know, but any chance that it's the same guy that was at the Kobe Steakhouse that was bitching about no, the guy? No, it, it is not that guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just sounds like you right. have the same he, personality. If they were related, it wouldn't surprise me. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, the reason that I didn't have to work, oddly enough, was uh, AIDS. Yep, that's right. <laughs> I got I got a case of the HIV. Oh, and retro. It just um, you know, it's twenty four hour case. <laughs> yeah, but just uh, bug. but I, yeah, I kicked it. But Ma Magic Johnson, that sure, motherfucker. I, I I shot up the night before. <laughs> okay. With some used needles. No, that's I mean, a I could have afforded a new one, but who wants to dirty up one? I mean, it wasn't that much heroin. Yeah, that. Oh. Anyway, I was. Um, no, we, we had a, an open house at work. Oh. And uh, I had told my wife about it. You know, it was like, so your family. What the fuck? <laughs> what know. the fuck? I'm in the middle of a goddamn story. Sorry. That, that's I a... swear to God, yeah. I have never been treated this rudely in all my life. Yeah, my fault. Except in the overhead door customer service. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so anyways uh when i told my wife that this was going on i assumed she'd be like yeah i don't have any i any desire to go do that shit because last thing i want to be is at work when i'm not working okay. um but oddly enough she was very enthusiastic and, but it was going on at the exact same time as the k-state game oh so she's like about halfway through the third quarter it's going to be over soon. We need to go. So, you know, pause this and we'll come back to it. So we had to pause the game oh, and no. go there. And and we go there through this awkward reception line of my boss, my boss's boss, and my boss's boss's boss. And um, as soon as we get through that, uh, I found out her motivation. She goes, I don't care about anything else. Show me where the poop was. <laughs> <laughs> That she just so wanted awesome. to see the scene of the fucking crime. Tell me there's still a chalk outline. There is not. Uh, I could have told her anywhere. Uh, here's but where here's the, where it was. Here's where a poop happened. Yep, here's where a poop was. <laughs> I was getting ready to say, uh, I hope you divorced your wife for making you skip out uh, on the is, game. I love her even more now. <laughs> now I am I love her just so much. Just show me more. where the poop was. I don't care about any of this. Just show me where the poop was. <laughs> Oh, that's fucking amazing. So my husband told me there was a poop around here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. That's great. That's top yeah, secret I, information, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. We can't talk about an ongoing investigation. Uh, that poops at Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> uh, um, oh. So anyway, yeah, there was that. I finished her uh, display shelves that I got to make. And thank God she wanted them uh, painted black because... Um, I didn't have to use good wood then. <laughs> uh, I got some grade C pine plywood that I made them out of. Mm. 40 bucks for a half fucking sheet. That wow. is ridiculous. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. If you get like good oak plywood, you're looking at about 90 to to $100 for a full Jesus fucking sheet of that Christ. shit. It's, it's fucking insane. Um, so now that I'm done with that rant, uh, let's see. Um, was there anything good I watched on? Yes, there was a good movie I watched on Netflix. Mm. Uh, surprised the shit out of me that it was good. Uh, it's called Father Stew. 
Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to watch it. Yeah, it, It's super inspirational and so not at all what I thought it was going to be. Okay. And um, I guess if I tell you what it's about, it kind of gives away some shit. And well, I don't want to give away shit. Well, don't. So, yeah, don't do that. Yeah, I'm not going to. But uh, just know... Uh, I'm going I'm to go it's ahead. A, it's about a fisherman that shoots up a pizza hut. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to give it the, um, what, what's the, Dan Cummins, the fucking, oh. the review that somebody gave him on his podcast. Absolutely love it. Wouldn't change a thing. Three and a half stars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we did not. I, I, I wanted to point out, did you watch the Game of Thrones or, or House of Dragon? Yes, I did. They were fucking. On, they were fucking in it. They they were um, no titties again. Was I it am. the dragons fucking? Who was the dragons? Yeah, the dragons fucking people up. That's what they were doing. Uh, well, I'm. Uh, I want to know their mating habits. I'm rapidly losing interest in that show. It's becoming so predictable, and they're taking the backstabbing to a whole different level. Yeah, and like to it where it's absurd now, and they're also predicating so much stuff on the idea that because her husband's gay. He couldn't possibly fuck her. Yeah, that just you can close your eyes and it still happened. It's happened all throughout history. <laughs> There's been a number of gay men with a lot of kids. That's true. Um, but yeah, it's it, it, it's losing my interest. Uh, the uh, the rings of power, still no rings. <laughs> Not one goddamn <laughs> ring. There's two episodes left. Yeah, I gotta watch that too. Yeah. I haven't started that. Speaking it's, of, it's good. Are you actually gonna watch it? Yeah, my wife got me into that Lord of the Rings stuff a little bit, so I watched the movies, so I'll watch that. Oh, God, it's it's very good. Speaking of power, yeah. I didn't realize I had this kind of power. Oh. Uh, I went out drinking. I had a show Friday as well at Big Arbor, mm. and uh, that was fun. It was small, but it was fun. And, uh, well, then it's not that big of an arbor, is it? Yeah. No, it was, it was a newly, print, newly planted tree. Oh. <laughs> but... Had the show, got done, went out. I didn't get drunk. I just had, I think, three drinks and a shot at Big Arbor, and then I actually drank two beers at the O, and I went home. Okay. And I was home about 1230 and went to bed. Had a little bit of a headache when I woke up the next morning, and my wife brings me Tylenol, and as she comes to hand me the Tylenol, I crack one off. <laughs> and I have never gotten a reaction so fast where it was literally <laughs> oh. <laughs> like she was going to vomit. Like nose and shirt almost instantly. <laughs> I can't. I don't know. Maybe I have superpowers from when I had COVID, where I just don't smell stinky stuff. Right. But because I would have loved to have smelled that, I would have been very proud. But she is like dry heaving, uh, like instantaneously. Like I almost like. Oh, there's no. I didn't believe her at first. I'm like, there's no fucking way. She's like, that's bad. <laughs> So she's got her sense of smell back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's way back. I think that might have done it. Oh, See, I think wow. that might have got it the rest of the way. You I'm have, a healer. You have to be more specific when you tell stories like that. When you say crack one off, I didn't know if you meant fart or jizz. <laughs> both. <laughs> I, do, yeah. I do both out of my dick. Sure. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. Cock wow. And it still stuck. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> my <Yeah>. goodness. <laughs> Sweet. Imagine what sound so, that is. Yeah. It's like a male queef. If you fart and jizz at the same time, are you technically sharding? A little bit. Okay. It's a tiny bit. Yeah. I guess you, you kind of have to be, well, I guess you don't have to be wearing underpants. <laughs> you should be. You should, yeah. You Dirty always, if you don't. It's oh. weird when there's corn in it. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you didn't eat corn. Yeah. Right. I don't remember eating that. I shoved a lot down the head of my dick, though. <laughs> I did fuck a squirrel at the zoo, so that's <laughs> yeah, must be it. Oh Jesus, I love having you guys back. Uh, yeah, what well, anything I else? Wish that feeling was mutual. <laughs> I know. <laughs> How about uh, the rest of your week? Or is that it? I think that was probably about it. I'm sure I watched some other shit and other things happened, but not as interesting as that. Okay, fair enough. Yep, that's it. Well, I'm glad to have everybody back. Uh, we've got a lot of shit to get through, but before we do that, I'm going to give a shout out to our sponsor, which is manscaped.com. They make excellent ball trimmers. Did you guys know that? I did. I alluded to it last week, but I didn't say it during the ad, so I'm going to go ahead and say it now. This product is so good, I use it on all of my testicles. <laughs> Not just one. Not just not just one. I don't select. I don't pick and choose. <laughs> this is not an experiment. This is hardcore proven <clears throat> good product. That's right. 
Uh, Manscaped.com has the Lawnmower 4.0, which is what we're referring to. It is a ball trimmer to help you shave your balls and asshole and even your dick. I mean, at the lower shaft, a lot of guys got hair. I'm one of those guys. And uh, helps Playing the keep corn you- out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just got hair on the tip of my dick. That's the only place. <laughs> That's yeah. weird. Uh, but you know what? It grows out of what? there like a mole. <laughs> when I'm running, it looks like it's at a metal concert. Just head banging. Oh, my God. Because uh, well, you put a sweatband on it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> An old Kareem Abdul Jabbar, sometimes goggles. Yeah. Right. Uh, but no, they have the Lawnmower 4.0, which now on the 4.0 has an adjustable LED light so you don't blind yourself like the 3.0 mm-hmm. was. Uh, has a docking station so you can put that on the uh, on the countertop so all of your guests that come over and check out your bathroom know that you shave your nuts, and yeah. that's very important. That's a very, very, uh, uh, what do you call that? Good hygiene. Yeah, yeah, that's what that is. And the bottom of that thing is really smooth, so if you actually want to dock with it, you can <laughs> Oh, too. is that right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll be Do darned. the bottom end, though. Don't do the top Don't end. do the top mm-hmm. end. You learn that the hard way. You give the tip of your penis a buzz cut. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but for Derek, it probably sounds like it's a good idea. <laughs> but anyways, they also have other excellent products like the Weed Whacker, like the Ball Toner, like the Ball Deodorant. They've got tons of products, so go and check them out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES, get 20% off of your order, and get free shipping as well. That lets Manscaped know that we are uh, doing a good job, and it helps you out, and it helps us out. So keep on doing that. We appreciate it. Thank you, manscaped.com. Oh, speaking of metal concerts, I'm going to a metal concert on Thursday. Is it Black or is it uh, Max Sabbath? You're goddamn right. <laughs> <it is>. Nice. <laughs> yes. yes. Nice. I called it. Yes. Oh, that is Evil so McDonald Land characters playing heavy metal music. That's great. Yes. What, what day is that? Thursday. Are they sold out? I don't believe so. Where at? Wave. Oh shit! This might be a good. This might be a good time. Yep, me and we're going. Me and the wife are going. You're more than welcome. Oh come on! Let's... I remember the last concert you and I went to. Wound up not to pan out. So good. <laughs> we uh, know what we're going into on this one. Yeah, we. You, it's kind of yeah. expect, expected. Yeah, I don't have high expectations. What if it comes back that they've changed their format to only improvised EDM? What if it's bluegrass? And, <laughs> But improvised electronic bluegrass. <laughs> Slayer McCheese on the jug. Yes. And they're not going to play any of their hits. <laughs> I didn't even know they had hits. <laughs> what hits are you talking about? It's just all original improvised stuff, <laughs> oh, not okay. the songs we know. Okay. To get in the spirit of it, I went and got the adult Happy Meal last night. Ah. Did you really? I did. Oh, that's another thing. Have you talked to Brian Choi lately? Uh-uh. Is he depressed because the motherfucking McRib is back? <laughs> <laughs> I, he said it was a dip in sales. I bet there uh, has been. I uh, bet there has been. Well, damn it. I can't wait to break my diet. <laughs> <laughs> on, the, on the way home after the show. Oh, oh man. Only. There is a lot of sports uh, news that happened over this last week, but we are not going to get into numbers or wins or losses or anything like that because there was a shitload of drama. Uh, but the first thing I wanted to talk about, especially now that Derek is back, uh, the KU football team has now won their fifth straight game in college football, and now they are ranked as the number 19 team in the AP poll and number 17 team in the coaches poll. Overrated! Holy shit! But the worst part about all of this is that KU fans are t- 10 times more annoying oh, when this they, shit happens. Oh, well, they be, they're new this. fans. I oh. fucking love this because oh. they are about to get hit. So fucking hard. They are going to get they, murdered. Their life is fucking smoke and mirrors. This team is decent at best. They are certainly not a top 25 team. I love the fact that right now KU is ranked ahead of K-State. TCU did KU a big favor by showing people that K-State beat in Oklahoma. Wasn't that big a deal? Mm-hmm. Um, so, But the last time that KU was ranked ahead of K-State – was in 1995, and KU was ranked number seven, K-State was ranked number eight, and K-State beat them 41 to seven. (laughs) So uh, this is the kind of shit that is going to happen because they've played a PUD schedule, and they barely beat a barely fieldable Iowa Iowa State State team. team. And they did it because Iowa State missed Three fucking field goals. And it's not like it was a fucking high-scoring game either. It was 14 14 to to 11. 11. And they're sitting there talking about, oh, man, but the the quarterback for KU, he's going to win the Heisman this year. This is how fucking delusional you are. And this is when it comes to the point to where me and Derek can agree on one fucking thing. You're a piece of shit. Two fucking things. 
And that is, it is 10 times better for our teams to lose than it is for KU to win at fucking anything. No, oh, this, this is a beautiful thing. This gets to set you up. Because, like I say, this is going to come back on them tenfold, yes. and you can just stack it on them when it comes. Yeah, um, I, I will have to say this, and I, I hate to give anybody from KU any kind of props, but I would say that this probably puts their coach in line for National Coach of the Year, okay. just because they were predicted to win no games, yeah, and they've won <clears throat> five, which yep. is five more than none, right? By yeah. that new math that they use, anyway. Yeah, they came out of fucking nowhere. All their fans have just like oh, fans. Mm-hmm. I use that loosely. Uh, all of a sudden, they're not about K State football anymore or OU football. Now it's all oh, KU all the way. Yeah. 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 We're good now. We're we're. I've been with them ever since. I can't believe that man Gino left, man. Yeah. That's they fucking yeah. fired you, him. You have no idea what happened between then and now. Yeah, <laughs> but you, you, it's a damn shame they shouldn't have fired him. And, you know, I mean, yeah, he was abusing the fuck out of his players. Yeah, and basically just shoving them into fucking coat closets and I, making them stay there for hours at a time and, and belittling them and using racial slurs. But they shouldn't have fired him. Well, they're KU fan. They're KU people, so I don't care if he does that stuff to them. Well, and I know a lot of <laughs> listeners. A lot of listeners aren't you know of our listeners at least are not from Kansas, so they don't know what we're talking about. But imagine like um, a Michigan fan and a Michigan State fan, and you ask somebody like okay well who do you root for and their answer is always well i root for michigan state for basketball and michigan for football that's the same thing we experience in kansas it's always like well i root for ku in basketball but i root for k-state in football because they're normally better and it's everybody jump on a fucking bandwagon but it's uh, fuck yeah I, i i just God damn it. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> I cannot wait. I, who do they play this They play TCU. Oh, Jesus Christ. At Lawrence. They it's are going to get fucking raped. I hope so. And it's in Lawrence, <laughs> and college game day is in yeah. Lawrence. Oh, my God. TCU, based off what they've done so far, should be a top 10 team. They should have jumped from unranked to top 10. I agree. They fucking destroyed Boy, Oklahoma. Oh, God, it was so bad. It hurt. That hurt. I'm an Oklahoma fan, sort of, because my family's from there. Uh, I don't really watch college football, but I watched that game and it was it was torture. Uh, but yeah, I there's might actually watch that game if they're going to get their ass kicked. Yeah, exactly. We should uh, watch that game this weekend. Okay, uh, moving on. Baseball. We got Major League Baseball news. Obviously, as we're recording, uh, looks like the judge hit his 60 second home run. So congrats to him. He's now the home run king. I don't give a fuck what any list says. Single season. Single season. Sorry, I apologize. Uh, but in the uh, amount of home runs he's had over his very short career, you think he's going to catch? Uh, you think he's going to catch like maybe like Hank Aaron and maybe Barry Bonds if he stays healthy? Who judge? Judge. Uh, man, he's a big guy though. He's what six seven, six mm, eight. Yeah, he's six, six eight, seven. I, I thought. Yeah, he's a <clears> big dude. It's. I think when you're that tall, your knees and shit. I don't know if you're gonna be able to stay healthy that. Yeah, long. but you play in a park with a two hundred and eighty foot <laughs> fucking right field wall. You can bunt that shit yes. over the fucking. He can hit right a fucking line. can of corn fly ball and have it go out. This is true. That, yeah, and he's a fucking giant. Yeah. Um, and the Yankees, because of the money that they have, they will keep a lineup that will protect him on both sides so they kind of have to pitch to him oh, yeah. well they haven't though i mean he's been walked a shitload since he hit 61 not a shitload like barry though barry is was no. retarded he's all time walks, walks leader, leader right? oh yeah, yeah big time but the thing the thing about judge is that he is um he's also hitting what 320 or something like yeah. that he's i believe leading the american league in batting average yeah, so, he's, he's a threat for triple crown last i knew yeah now i don't know if that's still the case i'll pull it up and look but. yeah My, i will say this about him though can't steal bases for shit no <laughs> <laughs> uh but uh I, I i was amazed i got to see a, another uh poo holes home run uh he apparently uh, no no steve Oh, Steve Pujols. Yeah, Steve Pujols. Uh, the one that doesn't use steroids. <laughs> that, that's the one. Uh, but no, uh, Albert Pujols is going to end up, I believe, I'm not watching the game right now, but at least as we're recording, is 7.03. Uh, but what I didn't realize is he is now second for RBIs as well, which is, I mean, makes sense, but shit, that, that, he's way up there. And uh, it, it's really cool to see as a Cardinal fan. I have a little bit of a softer heart now for Pujols because I thought it was a <clears throat> shitty idea to bring him back. But 
If you say he's not using steroids, steroids talk about you, your bandwagon fans. Oh, you Christ. are you're sorely mistaken. Oh my God, Derek's I, made a good point to me on the phone the other day. I was it the one where I said that if you don't believe Pujols is using steroids, then you probably believe professional wrestling is real. <laughs> no, because that, that is where I'm at with that. No, you it was probably believe the moon's round <laughs> yeah. and not flat like it is. What yeah. moon? Yeah, <laughs> believe in the moon. <laughs> No. no, but you made a good point. You, I, I, me and you both agree. I, I 100% think that Pujols is on steroids, but because he is at an area of, of basically reaching a milestone, they're not going to test him. They're not going to test Or if they and do if test they him, they're going to be like, hey, uh, in two weeks <laughs> at 3.38 p.m., we're going to test you. Whatever you do, do not take X, X. to clean out your system. Right. Yeah. But anyways, did you look it up for triple crown for Aaron Judge? He's just he's behind on batting average. Oh, what's he uh, hitting? Three ten. Three ten. And he's second on batting average. Uh, Arias oh. from Minnesota is hitting three fifteen, uh, but he's got sixty one homers and one hundred and thirty RBIs. He's mm-hmm. leading both. Sixty two. No, sixty two. Sixty two now. Two homers. This I'm just looking at ESPN. He's I know. Sixty two now. But I'm just pointing out that you're wrong. Well, then they more than one hundred and thirty RBIs. Was that too. his mom? They showed in <clears throat> the yes, crowd. That, yeah, that's his mom. Boy, I wouldn't have ever looked but, at her and went. Uh, you're you're Aaron Judge's mom. That's your boy, right? <laughs> yeah, no. Same. She's about five foot four. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Those fucking pictures that put him next to Butthead from Beavis and Butthead are hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen these. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh, they're dude. fucking almost identical. It's it's so hilarious. Uh, but now after this evening, we will have the playoffs uh, set. Actually, I think it, they're already set. Uh, the Cardinals are going to be in the playoffs. I know that the Braves don't have to play in the wild card, and I can't remember. The Dodgers. The Braves and the Dodgers are going to be the ones uh, who are going to miss the wild card. But, um, but yeah, it's going to be exciting. I don't care. At this point, obviously, I'm rooting for the Cardinals. But, but I think that the only thing that I really don't want is I just don't want New York Yankees against the Los Angeles Dodgers in the World Series. That's all. That's my biggest want as of right now. I'm not delusional. Can the Cardinals win? Sure. But do I really think it's going to fucking happen? Are they the favorites? No. So, uh, and they have to play uh, Philadelphia, if I remember, out of the out of the wild card spot. So, Fair enough. We'll see what happens. Starts Friday. Uh, moving on, we're going to get to some NFL news. Uh, there was fucking quite a bit. And the first thing we're going to start off is what happened on Thursday night football to a tongue of Viola, or Viola uh, out with a concussion or an ankle issue or a back issue. Uh, but apparently he was knocked out uh, during the game against Cincinnati. But he was also fucking knocked out the game in the week before. And now there is a shitload of media that are covering this saying that it is possible that the Miami Dolphins pushed Tua into playing this football game without going through concussion protocol. And it is pretty blatantly obvious. You're supposed to be at least out for the initial concussion protocol after you get knocked out for at least at least eight minutes, game time minutes. I was going to say they checked him in the tent. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I believe that that – and those are independent specialists that they bring mm-hmm. in. Those are not team doctors that do that concussion protocol, and I believe that particular specialist has been fired. I believe so because it was blatantly obvious that he got his bell rung and most likely was mm-hmm. concussed. And then – Going up against the Cincinnati Bengals, they end up losing the game, but he gets rocked again, and it wasn't as bad as the week before. He kind of just got drugged to the ground, but it looked like he hit his head. I think he got kind of whiplashed, whiplashed. Okay. and that, that shakes your brain, which is actually sometimes worse. And one of the things that they noticed was his hands. Yeah, they oh, looked like his hands were. They looked it, like that. Right. Yeah, they look like back whenever I was a dumbass and made fun of, like, retarded people when I was, like, nine. Yeah. That's what they look like. Right. And that is kind of one of those sure signs of of head trauma Mm -hmm. is that your brain, like, your nervous system kind of, like, seizes up and your hands posture in strange positions. Initially, so, yeah. initially when he went down, because they were just kept zooming in on the hit and replaying it and replaying it, I actually thought he broke his hand because of how fucked up his hands looked. It was bad. Uh, but anyways, do you think there is any kind of a, I don't know, uh, what is what do you call that? A conspiracy here? Of do you think that they were trying to get him to play even though they knew he had a concussion? Because the NFLPA is getting involved, is what I've been told. I don't know about that. Uh, I, and a lot of times too, that guy, those guys want to get out and play. Mm-hmm. So it could have been him going, "Hey, oh, I'm God. fine. Let me fucking play. We're beating the Bills. We're getting ready to take. You know, we're going to lead the division. Like, let me in. Let me start me off four and zero. Before yeah. concussion protocol, you had to hit a quarterback with a car. 
not not a dump truck by the way that that puts them out for longer a lot longer but um if you hit them with a car they would come out of the game but they would do a ronnie lot bite their own finger off and then go back in the game um but yeah ever since they've put the concussion protocol into place they're supposed to be measures that kind of take that out of the player's hands right and yeah i if the pa is getting involved there's got to be something to that okay uh, but next one, uh, moving on, uh, I don't really need to spend too far on this, but uh, Kenny Pickett is now the uh, the starting quarterback for the or quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers. That didn't take fucking long, did it? <laughs> oh, but no, Trubisky, it's because he was a fucking bear and he didn't have anybody protecting him and the coach sucked. No, Mitch Trubisky sucks. All the other things you said were true, but Mitch Trubisky sucks. That's the that's big part of it also, yes. <laughs> like, Jesus, I got friends that are Steelers fans like, I think he's going to be fucking great. Same, I'm and I'm like, way. okay, dude, you can fucking have them. No shit. Well, and I was like, is a city known for optimism. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> I was like, you know, uh, I know Fields sucks, but at least Mitch Trubisky's not my problem anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, I'd still take a Fields over Trubisky, which is not saying much. It's not. I think Fields is a legit quarterback. I just don't think the Bears are very good. Oh, I, they're awful. They're awful. He's yeah. got no, but he has no one to throw to. Like, mm-hmm. you have a team full of. You've got Darnell Mooney and shit. And Darnell Mooney, he's not like he's not even throwing it at him. The problem with Fields is he get, he hangs onto the ball too long and he doesn't go through his progression, so yeah. he doesn't see the play when it's there. Yeah. So he's running for twelve yards when you got a wide open guy down the field for a walk in touchdown. Uh, maybe can I ask you? Because I, I every time I watch him, I think he's sped up in his head. Does, does that make sense? I mean, I he doesn't know, he, the doesn't, ball? he doesn't have time to hold. He doesn't fucking have time to shit. Okay, that, maybe that's what it is. That's part of it because they're like, yeah, you know what? We're going to draft defensive guys who aren't that good, by the way. Mm-hmm. But they could have had George Pickens yeah. and twice in the <laughs> second round and didn't do it. And Kyler Gordon doesn't look that fucking impressive to me. You know what? Because, but they're they're really good always on draft day. They always pick good guys. <laughs> in the sixth. Yeah. 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 Uh, None of those guys are Polish. Right? That's, that's the problem. <laughs> that's yeah. the problem. Like if he was Fieldski, he'd You're be right. all right. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, okay, moving on. Next one. DK Metcalf had to be carted off the field to take a shit. Have you ever had to be like, were you, like go that bad to where somebody needs to cart you to the toilet? About five fifteen this afternoon. <laughs> are you serious? Oh my god. <laughs> I was going to go get lunch meat on my way home, and I skipped it like for, <laughs> for work. I, holy fuck, was that an emergency? I about blew my underwear out. Oh, Jesus. I, I bet what happened? I bet DK Metcalf went to Texas Day Brazil before the game. <laughs> I bet he did. I bet he did. did. That was their pregame meal. I, oh. uh, he said that a duck walk wouldn't have made it. Oh, yeah, I've been there. I, this is what I actually think happened. This is really what I actually think happened. I think he shit himself. He, he may have. have. I think he actually actually shit himself, so he asked for the cart just so he couldn't see shit yeah. falling out of his pants. Yeah. You wear a jock strap and white lycra pants. <laughs> <laughs> there's not. A, there's no real barrier between <laughs> a hole and pants. <laughs> he was just trying to get out of playing in the game. Mm-hmm. That's because that's what you do. Where was that? Did dr- that bet on DraftKings? <laughs> no kidding. How can you not parlay that? <laughs> I don't know. You know, I want to go with Geno Smith for 225 yards, Seahawks on the money line, and DK to shit himself. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a huge fucking win, let me tell you. That what. cart just cost somebody four hundred and eighty-two thousand dollars. <laughs> <No> shit. <laughs> uh, but uh, but anyways, yeah, well, that was great. Uh, next one. Uh, this is so sad. Tom Brady and Giselle hire divorce attorneys, and that sucks. And I don't think we really give a shit about it. But then you got people like fucking Antonio Brown, who's making it 10 times fucking worse. I haven't heard a thing he's had to say. Oh, my God. I think he photoshopped a picture of himself over Tom Brady with Giselle or something. No, there's a picture of him winning the Super Bowl, and Giselle is, like, coming up and hugging him after the Super Bowl win. It's it's actually a, you know, it looks like an honest photo. It looks like, you know, they were just happy. But well, the, he stayed at Tom's house. So. Yeah, um, but it it's it's kind of fucked up what he's saying. Uh, basically, like it, it, kind of saying that he, he probably or may have already, you know. Yes, he's a sick individual. Fucked yeah. his um, wife. Yeah, uh, that's that's what he does. He holds fucking grudges, and he he. I guarantee you, Giselle did not fuck him. I'm just worried God, about I Tom and not. Giselle. When are these two kids going to get a break? You know, <laughs> I don't know. 
You're uh, already the two most attractive people in the world. Right. Two of the most talented people in the world. Very, God damn it. They're really, really struggling for they money sure right at this point. So I know. mean, which house is she going to get? <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, but not only is Antonio Brown crazy as fuck with this particular situation, but, uh, oh, by the way, this is what the actual uh, article stated, and I quote, aspiring rap star, fuck, aspiring rap star and former what NFL wide receiver may face legal charges after allegedly exposing himself to a woman and other guests in a hotel pool in Dubai in the spring. Is this the guy from our fantasy football league? Yeah. That aspiring rapper? Yeah, that guy. He, yeah. Dalton. Great. Dalton was yeah. over in Dubai. Yeah, exposed himself. Uh, there's actual now video evidence of this. I don't this. even think Is this that's Antonio Brown, too? Yes. That sounds exactly like it. Oh, there is video evidence of this, and it's they ain't fucking around. There's going to be some legal situations with this. It's it's bad. He that's is, in Dubai. You lose your penis if you do oh, that, I think. I, well, luckily, he's well, not there you anymore. Well, steal bread with it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! If you have well, how else are you gonna take it? Oh God! Right. <laughs> the only way I, I don't. I don't know of any other way. God, you better hope you don't fart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, bread, dick, bread, Butter dick, that bread. Yeah, I'll take your bread uh, for a dick. Uh, but yeah, no, dude, it's it's bad. It, they gotta put this dude in a fucking I, psych ward or some shit because this is getting way I, out of hand. I want s nothing more than somebody to offer him a hundred thousand dollars to fight a grizzly bear because <laughs> he would take it because he thinks he could win. No shit. Why did and, we have to lose Dwayne Haskins to a fucking dump truck? Why couldn't have of this guy walked out in front of one? Well, it's, I mean, it's not, not like it's Dwayne not Haskins fair. Was a yeah, I don't know. but he wasn't that man. Anyway, what were you saying, Jeremy? Because, well, I mean, Antonio Brown, I, man, I fucking dump truck up. <laughs> right. Let's try. I fucked that dump truck's wife. Yeah. I got a picture of me with her. Yeah. Uh, but Look at me balls deep in this Tonka. <laughs> I fucked its kid, too. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, but I think uh, I think Zach Wilson owned the the Twitter world with the whole joke with the whole Giselle and Brady thing, and it was uh, it was uh, I got you, Giselle, and it was like something along those lines because he's known as a motherfucker. So there you go. Uh, moving on, uh, if you are the Dallas Cowboys, do you continue to start Cooper Rush over Dak? Let me tell you this, and and I, I kind of want your guys' opinion because obviously the, the Cowboys have won uh, four straight games with Cooper Rush as their quarterback. And let me tell, let me ask you a question. So if you were to say of the first games of the Dallas Cowboys quarterbacks, how many of them won four in a row for their first games as Dallas quarterbacks? Well, they've said none. One. His name is Cooper fucking yeah. Rush. So my question to you is when Dak comes back, do you put him back in or do you let him sit at least until Cooper Rush win or loses a game? And then after that point, do you try to off Dak Prescott to another team and run with Rush for a little bit? You try to off Rush while he's hot and has the hot hand. God you don't. You, you let Dak come back. You don't rush Dak back, though. No. They were originally going to try and do that. Let his hand heal. Make sure he's good to go. Make sure he's healthy. You're not in a pinch like you thought you would be. But after that, fucking, if you can trade Cooper Rush and get something decent for him, fucking trade him. I first man, I hate agreeing with you 100. percent But that is exactly what I was going to say. You don't you don't fuck with Dak. You're already paying him. Yes, it would be nice to get a lot of that capital space to where you could maybe get something better. But the fact of the matter is, is that Dak Prescott is obviously much better than Cooper Rush. You let Cooper Rush play as long as it fucking takes for Dak to be a hundred percent. That's that's for sure. And then when he's back, let him let Cooper Rush ride out as a backup for the rest of the season. And that the off season, you trade his ass for a number one or first round draft pick is what you do, or or second round or something along those lines. Yeah, if you can get a second or a third for him, take it. Sure. Yeah. How about you, Jeremy? Um, listen. Here's I've, I've seen this happen with the Chiefs, I want to say 1997. Gannon? Yep. Elvis Gerbach was the starter, starting quarterback. Greatest he quarterback was, of all time. He sure was. He's the king. He's the king. Um, but, okay, on paper. Polish. He had. Yes, he was. Is he? Yeah, I guess yeah. that yeah. would be. Yeah. yeah. GR. <laughs> yeah, you, don't, you don't see that. G-R-B-A-C-N. That's, that's extra Polish. Sure it is. Yeah. That's <laughs> Polish with sauerkraut. That's, right. That's, that's native. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, he's he's an immigrant. Direct immigrant. He swam here on a boat. <laughs> he swam here on a boat. Did they have a pool Oh, well, yeah, they had a pool. Boat? It was a cruise ship. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> but he wouldn't get out the whole time. <laughs> he was pruny by the end of it. He sure was, which is probably why he couldn't throw for shit. <laughs> but on, on paper, he had he was the prototype NFL quarterback, six foot five, two fifteen, had a fucking cannon for an arm. In practice, he was laser accurate, but he didn't win games. <laughs> And when he got hurt, they bring in his backup, Rich Gannon, who was small. He was like 6'1". He was scrappy. He didn't have a very strong arm. He was a dink and dunk quarterback. But he managed the games, and he fucking won. And he got the Chiefs to the playoffs, and then Gannon or Gerbach was healthy again. And Marty Schottenheimer's like, no, Elvis Gerbach is our starting quarterback. So he put Gerbach in, and, of course, they lose to the fucking Broncos. The Broncos go on to win the fucking Super Bowl. They trade Gannon that next year, and I – believe two years later he wins the fucking league MVP for the Raiders. So, I mean, <clears throat> at ultimate, their rival. <laughs> ultimately, what is important, what, what gets you there, you got to win fucking games. That's the, really the only stat that matters. And I say that you fucking hang on to the guy who's winning fucking games until he doesn't. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, they wouldn't trade him before the end of the year, I wouldn't think. Yeah. No. No, they, no they'll hold on to him until the end of the season. So, all right. Well, last one with sports, and then we get to have some fun. Um, animal rights activist gets onto the field during Monday night football and gets laid out by Bobby Wagner. I, I've heard I've heard this corrected now. Okay, I, I believe it was just a guy doing a gender reveal. Oh, because he was had pink smoke. Oh, the article I said said it was a fucking I, animal I think rights people activist. People at first thought it was that. I oh. think this was because it's happened in other games before. Mm. Uh, I don't know what the fuck you're protesting at a football game. So gender reveal. It's obviously a white guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 100 percent. So, yeah. Quit but, getting out on the fucking field. Yes. This you. He got exactly what he fucking deserved. You go out there on on the field with football players. The biggest, strongest, fastest athletes in the world get to hit you consequence free. The mm-hmm. Bears would miss him. <laughs> sure they would. <laughs> He would he'd try have, to hit him with a fucking ball. He'd and have fucking scored throw on it him. into the stands. <laughs> he'd have scored on him. We'd, we'd have been down seven more. <laughs> <laughs> the Bears are the stormtroopers <laughs> of the NFL. Yeah, he'd, he'd have trucked over. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he would have been like that retarded. Fucking Kyler kid. Gordon just gets trucked at the end zone. Yeah, oh, Jesus. All right. Well, that's the sports news. Uh, again, if you want to go and see who won and all the statistics, you can go to ESPN for that. That's why it's there. Uh, but now we get to have some fun. Uh, we're going to move on to our first segment. This is going to be, would you do it for $10,000? Would you do it for ten k? I like this one. Uh, first one, would you do it for ten k? Play a tetherball game with an active beehive. Absolutely. You would? Yes. You that's don't? one swap. <laughs> that beehive is done after that. And there. That's going to hurt. It's going yeah, to hurt. They're going to be pissed. Yeah. But, you know, I, My Girl's my favorite movie. Uh, and uh, yeah. <laughs> I would totally do that. Oh, uh, yeah, I was rest totally in peace. rooting for those bees. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was allergic to them. You, you're yes. probably not no, allergic No, no, I'm not allergic to them. Yeah, you're just going to get fucked up. Yeah, but God, for ten grand, i would do it. I think uh, the medical bills will probably exceed the ten grand. So it's I, bee I, stings. It's, it's going to fucking hurt. Yeah, it's going to hurt. That doesn't mean you go to the hospital. I, I think you do. I hurt myself all the fucking time. I'm constantly in pain. I don't go to the fucking hospital. You know what? I'm allergic. I'm a real fucking man, Scotty. I'm, I'm allergic to bees. It may kill me. So I, I really don't know if I am. Oh, know. then I'm playing with you. <laughs> Against you on tetherball. Yeah. <laughs> no. And then this, I get twenty thousand dollars. No, this this would fucking suck. Kick this his is, ass and take his ten thousand yeah. from him. Yeah. This is death by like a million paper cuts, and I'm I'm not interested it, in it's this. It's really at all. not. It, I think it is that you. If you piss most, off a beehive, they're gonna come after you. They're most gonna bees and beehives you. aren't terribly fucking aggressive. Anyway. Uh, I don't care. I, My I'm, neighbor I'm raises out. bees. I'm out on this one. I'm totally in. Ugh. I'm not the least bit allergic to bees. It doesn't hurt that fucking bad. You might swell up a little bit, but it's not that fucking bad. Okay, whatever. Uh, next one. Would you do it for 10K? Go 30 days with your hands tied behind your back. Yeah. Driving's going to suck. Well, I mean, I wouldn't, I'd just have to get Ubers. You can hire a fucking Uber. For oh, yeah. okay. That's, yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah. But you can't use your fucking phone to order one. God damn. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that with your nose. Oh, I know some people that don't have arms that use their tongue. I'm going to get real good at a unicycle. You know people that don't have arms? <laughs> Yeah. Can they host a podcast? <laughs> no. No, they, they won't can't. push the stupid buttons. I just said, I just said what? Those like ones? that, yeah. Oh, okay. And mine. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to have arms or hands to do that. Uh, you uh, don't even have to have a voice. Just be in here. <laughs> yeah. Dumb fucking just beard existing. Ears. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I would totally do that. I would totally do this too. I just, this I just want to be bad. in the bathroom in the in a public restroom, like little help here, <laughs> <laughs> little help. Somebody has to unzip your zipper. Yeah, and it's not even because you don't have arms. It's just <laughs> that would be fantastic. You automatically get carted <laughs> to the bathroom when you got a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I think so. Maybe uh, I don't know. You can you can play wide receiver for the Bears. You don't need hands <laughs> to do that. <laughs> right. Yeah, catch it in your fucking face, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, how about you, Jeremy? Would you do this? Not a chance in hell. Oh, really? <laughs> I wouldn't do it for a fucking day. Wow. Uh, I There are certain things that I just will not do, and being incapacitated is one of them. Ooh. Uh, the idea, even like for, for sex. I was going to say, s and I would never. I don't trust anybody that much. Ooh. The idea of being that helpless just... I mean, that makes my fucking skin crawl. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't do it. Yeah. Uh, I kind of agree with you on that. But, I've, but for 10 grand, I'm doing it for a month. That's, that's fine. Uh, next one. Would you do it for 10K? Put Legos on the inside of your shoes and walk on them for a month. Sure. Yeah. That's Absolutely. Not, that's not that bad. You'll get used month. to it after a while. I think that the weight of, of you and Jeremy, you'd probably just like push them into the sole of the shoe to where they probably right. flatten out eventually. So Absolutely. With me, it's going to take a little bit more time. But I, I think I could handle it. But look, stepping on Legos fucking suck. So, but uh, hey, I'm doing it. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, probably not. I, I get Whoa. metal shavings in my shoes at work <laughs> on a regular basis and can't stand that shit. So the idea of fucking hard plastic all the time, no. <laughs> wow. No. Well, you're not supposed to shave metal with your shoes off. Yeah, exactly. That's Why? your problem. I shave it with Manscaped. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got pubes of steel, boys. <laughs> it's like a fucking SOS pad <laughs> down in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like one of the what are, what are those things that you wash dishes with? That's steel wool. Oh, okay, bad, okay, yeah. okay, so that's what you're talking about. Okay, you know exactly what I fucking said. <laughs> God damn it! Sorry. My bad. Comedy is wasted on you. It is. Uh huh. Uh, all right. Would you do it for 10k? Do 10 consecutive pocky chip challenges. If you can't do that, you are a pussy. I would say. Absolutely, I would do that for 10K. There is no fucking way you would. I'm give, calling give, bullshit right fucking now. Give me $10,000. I'm going to see if I can get a fundraiser going, <laughs> and we're going to prove this shit wrong. I guarantee you, you couldn't do 10 of it, them. It would kill you. It probably it would. would. It it's probably easy. would. No, it, it's, it's, it's fucking easy. You were bitching because you were the one that didn't want to do, I don't do hot food. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah, but he took those fucking dishwater... Yeah, fucking flavored jelly beans like a champ. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. While my fucking I... insides were trying to crawl outside <laughs> my fucking body, it was six fucking times hotter than your goddamn shit. So I basically have done it six times. <laughs> my, my fucking favorite thing was Jeremy when he said, "God, it tastes like I'm eating mace." <laughs> No, I said that? No, yeah. I can't remember if you said that. I said he... A concrete, I think, because it was so concrete. fucking hard and stale. Yeah. yeah. It like, wasn't made out of regular gummy bear material. It was made out of, like, wax. He said it's like Winnie the Pooh was possessed by the devil. <laughs> That's what he said. It was fucking horrible. Yeah, it was. Uh, Six times worse than what you went through, I know. dickhead. I know. And guess what? There ain't no fucking way I'm doing this. And he didn't uh-uh. even eat the whole chip. I ate like 90% of it. Fuck off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you haven't even done it once, Scotty. Uh, I, yeah. I fucking don't care. You I don't ever want to. One time. Don't ever want to fucking do it again either. That was, that was absolutely fucking awful. So absolutely not. I'm not doing this. Jeremy? Nope. Nope. Fuck that <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's easy to say when you've never felt that pain. <laughs> <laughs> ain't but no once shit. you have, you never forget it. Right. All right. Last one. Can you just take 10 of them and just like hurry up and eat all 10? Oh, no, no, no. You have to do them consecutively as in like the entire experience. Oh, 10. Okay. Yeah. All so right. one. Yeah, I could do that. Die for about six minutes and then do another one. Yeah, I could do that. Fuck you. You're looking at an hour. Right. Up. Uh, no, you're looking at much longer That's than that. 10 grand an hour. <laughs> Fuck that. that. All right, last one. Would you do it for ten grand or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Would you do it for ten grand? Legally change your name to Skinhead Bob for a year. Does anybody know my real name? Skinhead Derek. No, like oh. if I if I change my name to that and I just introduce myself as that, and then all of a sudden, yeah, you can fucking tell you're schizophrenic or whatever you want to do. I'd do that. You do that? Fuck yeah, I would. Yeah, I'd probably do that too. It's just the skinhead part. That that's the part I don't like. 
Like that's your hey, first you name. Hey, you had fucked up parents. Is yeah. it your fault? Yeah, yeah. you got to sign. You got to sign your name, and you got to sign all your paperwork that way. Speaking of fucked up names, I just saw one today on Facebook, and it's a real name, and he plays for OU. Uh oh, General Booty. Fuck yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. That is my new poor name. <laughs> I don't know if you want that for your poor name. Uh, I, I know about a man who walked around his whole fucking life named Debrickashaw. <laughs> so I, I could do this. Yeah, I can do I this can too. Do this. It's only you a just year. Just call me Bob. Yeah, okay. exactly. Just call yes, me. Yes, it's call me Bob. skinhead Bob. I, my parents were fucked up. But yeah, I just <laughs> my call friend, me Bob. My Robert, friends, Robert, if you'd like. My friends call me Skinny. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> it's an ironic nickname. Uh, shit. Well, that is what, or uh, what'd you do it for 10K? Um, now we get to move on to real shit or horse shit. Uh, yeah, I love this one. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for these, you can always uh, submit them to our Instagram account, which is at laughing on the sidelines. Any of these segments, if you have any ideas, send them our way. I've started to look at them a lot more often. Uh, and if I if see any that are good, we'll start using them. I'll start showing them to the guys again. Hey, uh, can I address something real quick since we're not doing my segment here? The, yeah, the bad advice. Absolutely. For the people who write in, um, for the, I'm going to say, 50,000 people who have written in saying that they're fans of a podcast, that they love the co-hosts, but can't stand the fucking host. How should I go about handling this and maybe getting that change? You're not fucking funny. <laughs> not a goddamn one of you is. We uh, secretly like each other off the no, air. No, no, we don't. it's just no. We we make uh, we say that enough in all seriousness. Yeah, this true. is supposed to be comedy. Did you say all seriousness? Yes, we uh, say it for real. Okay, and uh, this is a comedy show. Yeah, that's my tagline, by the way. What? In all seriousness, that's my that's my line. Don't take my don't take my trademarks, Jeremy. If you want to hit him, I'm moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I never not wanted to hit him. Uh, <laughs> they really do love me off the air. That's uh, that's true. No. Uh, yeah. Uh, next one. We tolerate you <laughs> okay. at best. Fair enough. You are the only one with podcast equipment. That's true. Uh, but anyways, now we get to move on to real shit or horse shit. Again, if you have any suggestions, send them our way. First one, real shit or horse shit. I get frustrated with another driver every single time I drive somewhere. 100% real shit. I just got my car fixed uh, from whenever that fucking dirt clawed hit it or the clay yeah 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 and it was dead and i just got it back and i had like pitting all over my hood mm. and uh my buddy that fixed it asked me do you follow people close <laughs> i said yeah they don't get the fuck out of the way <laughs> and he goes that's not good that's why i counted over two thousand pits in your hood you need to get back <laughs> so yeah uh that's real shit speed up <laughs> Uh, this is 100% real shit. I actually wrote this question down uh, in the middle of the week last week, and I wanted to see every single time before I got behind the wheel, was I going to get pissed off at least at one other stupid motherfucking driver out on the road? And 100% of the time, I did. I would uh, fuck either everybody sucks at driving and I'm just amazing, or everybody just sucks at driving. So, yeah, no, real shit. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? This used to be real shit. Oh, now it is horse shit. Now so I have sense. taken on the. Uh, the mindset of you fuckers don't know what a bad driver is. <laughs> I'm going to be the one who pisses everybody off. <laughs> I'm tired of being angry all the time. I'm going to cause some anger. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. Um, no, I, I wouldn't say every fucking time, but most of the time I certainly do. Uh, it, it annoys me that people are on the road when I am. Yeah. Uh, how fucking dare they? Mm -hmm. They didn't call to check. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have taken their phone call anyway. But <laughs> if they had, uh, you know, I would at least know. This is a different fucking pen, you cocksucker. I know, but it's not. It? It's maybe you should buy some non-squeak fucking pens. I don't know. I, 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 I know we don't get paid shit. Apparently, that money ain't going to WD forty, is it? <laughs> no, huh. it's going to other stuff. Huh? huh. Uh -huh. Anyways, um. Derek, I will fucking kill you. <laughs> I hate people. That's 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 the point I'm trying yep. to make. I fucking yep. hate people. Yep. I, I don't care if they're driving or not. Okay. Uh, all right. Next one. Real oh, was that not even my pin that whole time? Was that just you? <laughs> no, that was that me. was him. That was me. That was oh, him. that was right. Derek. That's, that's a squeaky pin. That's there. why because oh, I, I was with. sitting there playing with my pin the whole time. I just <laughs> I hear it in my headphones. I don't really <laughs> yeah. squeaking does not bother me oh, at so all. Bad. Neither do bee stings. All right. Next one. <laughs> real shit or horse shit. I take showers that are so hot it would melt other humans. That's horse shit. Okay. No, that fucking hurts. <laughs> I don't want to do that shit. I get it at a nice warm temperature, and I'm good. Uh, this is real shit. 
my wife and I can't have shower sex because the the water is is way way too hot for her for what makes me comfortable. Um, I oh man, I I have sho- I want showers that are like the fucking surface of the sun. I love a good hot hot shower. So yeah, this is real shit. Jeremy, you're what my wife. Never mind. Okay. No, she likes hot showers. She she, she yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Here, here's my problem with this. Okay, um, it started, I believe, with the space shuttle era in, at NASA on the launch pad. If you look right before they take off, right before they fire up the engines, there's this huge mass of water that pours onto the launch pad, and that is, number one, to help keep it cool, but also it dampens the vibrations. There's this big fucking water tower that just <clears throat> immediately opens, and all the fucking water rushes out immediately. It's several thousands of gallons. Um I built a shower that basically does that same shit. (laughs) And so if I have the water very hot at all, I don't get a very long shower at all because it just dumps it all out at once. Plus, I don't really care for a hot shower. You know, I I work for a living, so I get hot and sweaty. I like it a little cooler. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Derek, on the other hand, doesn't. So I don't know why he didn't like scorching hot showers. Mm -mm. Um, Next one. Because it hurts, Scotty. No. It's fucking great. My bathroom is a fucking sauna by the time I'm done taking a shower because I'll take... Fucking thirty minutes. Just hot, go to a fucking showers. sauna. No, yeah, it's not. It's not cheaper. the same. Yeah, it's not the same. I mean, you should have just heated up this basement. Yeah, when it was all fucking wet and yeah. really made some nice steam. Use yeah. this for a sauna. <laughs> You're right. I should have. We Ooh. should do that. We should you do got that. Cedar down here. That's Jeremy true. with a wet basement. That's joke. what Look I was just that. getting ready to say. That. Okay. Hey, me. Yeah, I ain't got a fucking wet basement. That's true. All right, real shit or horse shit. I have thought of another woman while having sex with my spouse. I can honestly say 100% horseshit. Really? I have not. No. Now, I've thought of the starting lineup for the 1989 Chicago Cubs. <laughs> so, so I could hang on a little bit longer. <laughs> Who you got leading off in that? Uh, 1989, Sean Dunstan. <laughs> okay. Keep going. Uh, Luis Salazar. <laughs> okay. Andre Dawson. All right. Joe Girardi. You got uh, Dawson in the three and not the four hole. Okay. <laughs> oh, just in order. No, I, I try to just name the line. Oh, okay, yeah. I got you. I got you. Very, very good. Yeah, uh, yeah, one hundred percent. I th- this is this is horseshit. Might buy Lecky. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, I've never done this. I've heard of other guys doing this, but I, I really never have. I, I think I love my wife. My wife's awesome, but I definitely have tried to think of some weird shit like while having sex, so I don't, I, I don't, you know, prematurely do my my thing. So yeah, this is horseshit, Jeremy. Uh, she won't let me. Uh, <laughs> else. And generally, the uh, f- the the main thought in my mind is just try to finish before you run out of wind. Because <laughs> that's a lot of fucking work. It's it is. The, and the other thing, what actually now that I'm thinking about it, I know uh, what, one of the things that I think about to try to go longer is it's the office that's normally playing in the background. He's watching it. <laughs> no, it's just, just because it's always on, it's like the background noise of our entire house. And I'll just kind of start thinking of, of, why, of like listening to this show. And I will laugh sometimes in the middle of sex because of a joke. Which so, bear is best? <laughs> yeah. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Okay. Yeah. Next one. Real shit or horse shit. I can tune out my spouse and make it appear like I am actually listening to her. Horse shit. I can't do it. And she can fucking catch me 100% if I am not paying attention. She'll just be like, fine, never mind. Even when sometimes I am paying attention, and she'll go, never mind, you're not fucking paying attention. And I'm like, no, you just said this, this, and this. Well, you act like you don't care. I'm like, no, I, God damn it, I'm listening to you. I, there's <laughs> no way I can fucking do that. She would catch me in a heartbeat. I, <clears throat> maybe it's a superpower. I can legitimately tune out everything with my wife. I, I like, a hundred percent but i if if like i kind of halfway tune her in a little bit i can catch what she's saying to me so i can kind of bullshit my way through like yeah i was paying attention you were talking about work today and all this other stuff and that one chick she's a bitch because that's all she talks about like something like along those lines so i can probably do this this is real shit how about you jeremy uh this is horse shit i mean i can totally tune her out but no matter how blatantly obvious I try to make it, she keeps talking. <laughs> I mean, it to the point where she will go, are you listening to me? No. <laughs> and yeah, you were talking about hobby horse. I, I, will, I will turn up the TV. I will, I, I mean, I don't, 
it, <clears throat> generally it is just a never ending stream of garbage coming out of her face. <laughs> and so <laughs> I, so I don't care. I don't need to be paying attention to what she's saying. And I don't want to be paying attention to what she's saying. And, uh, she just won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all of our wives, man. She just, just won't stop. Uh. But your wife's so nice, you know. She always has your house clean. You don't have any like you don't have too much of any specific decoration. Show me item. where the poop was. <laughs> that's that's the only thing I've honestly heard her say <laughs> in the last two years. <laughs> I don't care about any of this. Just show me where the poop was. That's and right. now that's what Jeremy's going to think about when he needs to finish. Uh-huh. When when yeah yeah when I need to finish. <laughs> yeah, you know. that's right. All right. Poop gets me so horny. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's disgusting. You're that's why I sexually this. harassed Derek. I want him one of his dick farts. <laughs> you got ready to get this dick poop. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's disgusting. All right. Last one. This one's kind of easy, kind of a cop out, but I, I just put it in there. Real shit or horse shit? My fantasy football team fucking sucks. Meh. Horse shit. Real shit. Real fucking shit. I drafted somebody who's not on a fucking team. Real <laughs> shit. <laughs> Mine's all right. Uh, once uh, once everybody gets healthy, I'll be in good shape. Yeah, because you got uh, you also have uh, Hopkins coming back in a couple of uh, weeks too, and Jamison Williams. Yeah, that's <laughs> going to be a good one. I was really, really hoping to pick him up, but you fucking beat me to it, you jackass. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, to say mine sucks would be an insult to things that suck. <laughs> <laughs> I am one in three right now, and uh, the one game I won wasn't because I was so good. <laughs> the other guy just sucked a little bit worse. And I do mean a little, like three points worse than me. Uh, he had one guy that didn't come through for him on a Monday night game that would have normally taken him way over the top. I'm going to go over my score <laughs> From my, my scores, uh, a, good, a good. By the way, a, we are standard standard four point quarterback touchdown uh, league, and so average a week. What do you say? Hundred or hundred points is a really good score. That's a pretty decent score. Yeah, yeah. I'd say average is ninety eighty. I, I wouldn't low fucking 90s. know. I wouldn't fucking know. I don't think I've scored over eighty five all year. <laughs> uh, I got Josh Allen. He did. He twenty four, but three points below his uh, projected amount. Uh, uh, Allen Robinson. For the, for the uh, Rams, Rams. Yeah. Uh, 0.7 points. Chase Claypool, zero <laughs> fucking points. Chris Godwin, five points. Christian McCaffrey, 16 points. Uh, Singletary, 7.6. Uh, Dalton Schultz, zero fucking <laughs> points. And then San Francisco's defense that was expected to get uh, seven points got me 21 fucking points. <laughs> Were it not for that, I, I, it's fucking, I would have had 70 goddamn points this week. I could have scored 70 points if I'd have sat everybody. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah that's good I mean, good and stuff. it's not like I just played the wrong fucking guys. Uh, Nicole Hardman, 0.4 points. Uh, Samaj P. Ryan, zero fucking points. Austin Hooper, 0.4 points. Uh, what, what's this guy? Uh, Richie James Jr., negative 1.10 points. I got a team that is actively trying to fucking sabotage me to make a fruit run. <laughs> Maybe you should contact some coaches here, Jeremy. You know, you're you're very, you know, uh, what do you call that? Um, I don't know. Hold a gun to somebody's head. This is worse than 9-11. I'm not, I'm not fucking kidding. Uh, it's oh, great. I'll God. happily trade you for Josh Allen. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. That's all I got. That's all I fucking got. Oh, it's great. He is the only, that and my fucking defense are the only two players that have overperformed above their projection all year long. <laughs> yeah. In the same boat, buddy. All right, uh, moving on. Now we get to get to overrated or underrated. Same thing. You have any suggestions? Send them to us. Uh, first one: overrated or underrated? Condoms. Way underrated. Mm-hmm. Anything that keeps me from getting AIDS and kids. <laughs> I don't know which one's worse. To be honest with you, anything that protects me from both of those things is fantastic. <sighs> Speaking of, uh, of, of. Just that right there. Uh, Chad Daniels. I watched his special last night. That's another thing that I watched. His uh, special, Dad Chaniels. Yeah. Um, one of the most underrated fucking specials of all time. But he makes a joke. And I'm not even sure if it was in that special, but I've heard him make this joke before about how, uh, you know, you think you got it bad if you got AIDS. I have kids. <laughs> There's just one letter difference between the two. <laughs> 
the joke he used to tell that I used to love was he's like, I think babies are miracles. Because when babies are born, their feet are just this big. They're so small, but yet they still somehow manage to step on all your hopes and dreams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he said that the the more time I spend around my kids, the more it amazes me people steal children on purpose. <laughs> but yeah, he said if you got AIDS, yeah, you got to take medication, but then you can go back to bed. Once your kids are up, they're up for the fucking day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm I'm definitely going. Uh, condoms are way underrated for all of the reasons that you just said. However, here's the thing: condoms. I don't necessarily think if you. If you had a kid, I don't think it would be all that bad. Con, I'm serious. I, I'm meaning because he would fucking take care of it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The fuck, I would. Exactly. Fire but, station. But there are fuckers <laughs> out there. He's been that, threatening to move to Canada for a while. <laughs> there, yeah. there are fuckers out there that need to be wearing condoms so you don't procreate. You need to stop. You're creating shit and stop it. So yes, way underrated. How about you, Jeremy? Yeah, they're way underrated. Yeah. I, so. I don't jerk off without a condom on. <laughs> Lubrication? And and clean. It, it No mess. I just don't want diseases, and I don't know where I've been. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't want metal shavings on your dick. <laughs> right. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, while my pubes are steel, my dick is still nice and fleshy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Smashing things with a hammer. Again, I got to go Underrated. Uh, there's nothing more fucking relaxing than breaking something on purpose. Mm -hmm. It it's it's fucking euphoric. <laughs> we joked a long time about going to a fucking rage room, and have yet to do that. That's because I'm too old. I'd throw my back out. I'm kicking care. a TV. I don't or something. care. Give me a fucking hammer to bust the shit out of a glass window, a TV, or anything. This is way underrated, Jeremy. That's totally underrated. Um, <laughs> and. Normally, I don't brag on myself, and, and I'm not saying that there is no one better. I'm sure that there are people who are better, <laughs> but in all seriousness, to quote you, Scotty, um, <laughs> I have never met anyone who can swing a sledgehammer as hard or as accurately as I can. I'm, that, I'm like a fucking savant. Prove it, <laughs> Scotty. Put your head on the table. No I'll go to the garage. Oh, sure. Dude, I would hit you right square in the fucking back. <laughs> Oh, shit. Heads make too much of a mess. <laughs> yeah. But Back no, it's... Not any, your basement. Anytime, <laughs> anytime that you can... Like, people don't think about this, but concrete. If you if there's no steel in it, no rebar, it, sma it pulverizes with a fucking sledgehammer. And it is so fun to, like, knock some off the bottom of fence posts and shit. Just, <laughs> you can take out a lot of frustration. And that shit just goes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Farts. Underrated for the story I told you. <laughs> There's nothing funnier than a fart. It's the oldest uh, fucking joke. Farts and dicks, and you got them both in <laughs> one package. That's <laughs> it. Yeah, that's right. it's, it's the oldest fucking joke in the book. But it is still fucking funny. Ah, uh, there's nothing better than this. It's coming up on that time of year when you fucking cut a fart and you crank the heat up and lock the windows. <laughs> yes. Nothing better than that. Oh my god, I've actually woke my wife up from a fart. That's fucking hilarious. Underrated as hell. Was it because you were hovering over her face? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> How else do you do that? Jeremy? People will say that we're immature for this. <laughs> but here's, here's the fact. They've done studies. Gorillas find farts funny. <laughs> it is ingrained in our fucking DNA of, of all fucking primates. It's just there. We cannot help it. it is, they're fucking great. Excellent. The and they right. help you forget. Forget? How do they help you forget? I forgot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you just fart, Jeremy? Remember the beginning? The beginning oh, yeah. The show oh, yeah, that's I don't right. Well, we, they don't know that. Yeah. Okay. Right. It's inside joke. You like to throw those in all the time. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Fornicating in a public pool. I'm going to wow. go. I gotta, go ahead, Jeremy. Well, you. I, I said that this is like the... My one fucking kinky thing, the the most public place last week. Oh, I didn't. I forgot about that. Oh, that's not why you put it in. Mm -hmm. uh, I can tell you it's fucking overrated. Uh, <laughs> female makes uh, a natural lubricant that is washed away easily by water, <laughs> which is not nearly as slippery, and it can cause some chafing issues. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I, I, I'm gonna go overrated. I, I, I just, I don't know. I'm kind of with Jeremy on it. It's just, what? Just go fucking to bed, man. Yes. It, it just, it, it's way better there. Uh, it's comfortable when you're done. You, you don't have to like go anywhere. You can just lay there. What, what has turned you on so much to be in a pool of others' piss that? <laughs> yeah. You just can't fucking wait. Wait a minute. Hold on. What if they're... I can't towel off yet. I just got to ram it in. So this is a public pool. What if there are people in the pool? Maybe that changes things. Like if they're like kids... It doesn't. No? Um, No. Kids are in the pool wondering what the fuck you're doing. They're making fun of my floaties. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, this is overrated. How about you, Derek? Uh, I'm going to say overrated as well, unless (laughs) you guys are already starting and you do a double cannonball. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Because that's going to make a big splash. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. All right. Last one. Overrated. I bet I can oh. beat it. <laughs> <laughs> I can be done by the time he hits the water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Last one. Overrated or underrated. Stealing a home run ball from a child. Fucking underrated as shit. <laughs> Fuck your kids. Oh, God. Oh, my God. All day I'll do that. I don't care who hits it. Oh, you're such a dick. Don't care. Oh man, I it's overrated, man. I, I yeah, I'm a huge prick, but I couldn't do that. There's a guy that did it just like a couple of weeks ago, and he's just getting trounced by all of these major league baseball players of what a douchebag he is. Can he host a podcast? Maybe I, he might. He, I'd like to have that guy on. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> but no, I this want is, his autograph. This is overrated. I can't do that. I'd like to get a picture with him and then crop it out and jerk off to it. <laughs> in a swimming pool uh-huh yeah okay how about you jeremy um here's the thing in in a major league game i would i would give it to a kid but like if you're at a, a public park like little league game the concession stand will give you a nickel to bring the fucking ball back and you're not going to take money out of my pocket <laughs> that's how i put food on my kids table <laughs> and by my kids i mean mine <laughs> right Okay, well, that's overrated or underrated. Now we get to get on to questions and preguntas. Uh, let's go with the very first question. What nickname would you call your spouse that she would absolutely hate? Cunt. Missed the damn button. That's mine. All right, then. Derek? I actually have one that she hates. Oh, do you? Yeah. Um Back whenever we were dating, uh-huh. um, we had like a game night one night, and it was her and one of her friends and me and a buddy of mine, and we were playing <coughs> Trivial Pursuit, guys against girls. Mm-hmm. And, of course, we're men, so we trounced them. <laughs> and uh, so much smarter. Yep. Mm-hmm. And so we got done trouncing them, and the next day I was joking with my wife, at the time my girlfriend, mm-hmm. and I said, hey, you want to play uh, play another game of Trivial Pursuit, Loser Mo's, or Loser Mo's the Winner's Lawn? <laughs> And she's like, fuck you, because she's super competitive. And I said, would you prefer something more your speed, perhaps shoots and ladders? <laughs> and I had her in my phone as shoots and ladders <laughs> for years. And she hates it. SNL. Oh, she hates it. She's not into the SNL. Huh? That's the C and L. Yeah, it is. Is it C? Yeah, yeah I'm pretty yeah. sure it is C. Yeah, I, I'm gonna. I don't think can so. I, can I put her in my I'm phone? Gonna, is that you can do it? <laughs> look it up. <laughs> I'm totally doing I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna look this up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh Jesus! I, if she found out, she'd kill me. Oh, she fucking hates it. <laughs> she <laughs> hates you anyway. So I know. She's I only know. looking she for does, yeah. That's true. Oh, Maybe God. she'll make me stop doing the podcast. Call her that. No, <laughs> no, I'm not going to. <laughs> I'll be goddamn. Yeah, C H U T E S. Yeah, absolutely. Not even the O O. Yeah, no, no, no. Shoot, come on, big shoots. Uh, so how about you, Jeremy? Well, that is with an S H. That is, yeah. That's shooter. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you should just call her shooter. <laughs> <laughs> shooter. Yeah. That she, uh, your wife would hate that. No, that's what Derek should call his wife. Oh, got it. Uh, Heidi. <laughs> that's my ex-wife's name. Um, oh, 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 yeah. That's... I've never called her that, and that's not my ex-wife's name. Um, <laughs> okay. That's just some random woman's name. Uh, I don't know, Chinaman. <laughs> my, my little Chinaman. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Zipperhead gook. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that's so terrible. It sure is. Oh, Charlie. Sh- oh, Charlie. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Next one. What is the worst Halloween costume for a young child? Sexy Dahmer. 
Oh, oh, that's bad, bro. Yeah, yeah. I just I mean, got standard done watching. Dahmer's bad enough. <laughs> yeah, but sexy Dahmer. Sexy Dahmer, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Low cut shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got a thong showing. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to watch the rest of Barney, and then we can go. Oh, that's so <laughs> fucked up. Yikes. Uh, Did you I've, watch that series? No. I haven't yet. I haven't I, yet. I, oh, I my to. God. It's fantastic. I mean, it's, it's not. The guy that plays him is very uh, good. At, incredible. Yeah. He was a real rascal. I'm going to say that. <laughs> Dahmer. Dahmer? Yeah, Dahmer was yeah, a real he, rascal. He, he, he sure rascal. was. He was kind of ornery, you know? Uh I put a, I, I put a, a paralyzed child. I think that would be an awful fucking costume for a child. What if he is paralyzed? That's that, fucking mean. I know Scotty. that's fu- well. Here's the deal: like if you have a parent that goes out and gets a kid a wheelchair just so he could be his fucking Halloween costume, I think that's fucked up. Didn't you get a wheelchair for something? Yeah, I was I was a uh, well the I the first year I had a wheelchair for Halloween, uh, I was Superman in a wheelchair. <laughs> uh, right after he died, like I had a plan before he died. <laughs> And then I became that after he died. But the best costume I ever had was uh, I took that same wheelchair and repurposed it. And uh, we made it, uh, the seat in the back were crushed purple velvet. Mm -hmm. uh, And then it had chrome. Uh, We put spinning rims on it. And I was a -a pimpaplegic. That's pretty awesome. And it was fucking awesome. Yep. But, uh, okay, yeah, it was great. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, Anything blackface. (laughs) Oh, God damn it. Yeah, that, that's bad. Especially if your kid's black. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. All right. So speaking of that, I was at the state fair, <laughs> oh, and they have uh, the face painting. Uh-huh. uh-huh. I really yeah. thought it'd be – I thought one of two things would be funny. Number one, to go up and ask them to paint me like a tiger, and then just go into work the next day like fucking nothing was on my face. Sure. <laughs> hey, how you guys doing today? <laughs> just, just fucking full tiger face. What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, dude? <laughs> And I also thought it would have been fucked up to just go, can you just like, you know, I really like Mr. T. Could you just, uh, <laughs> can you give me one of those? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's Mr. Awful. T specifically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's the only one yeah, I want, you, though. You, you know what he looks like. <laughs> yeah. I want you to match his shape. Don't give me none of that Morgan Freeman shit. I want Mr. T. <laughs> I pity the fool who gives me Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fucking awful. All right. Sure is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what I want to do for hosts. Halloween? I want to give out cigarettes. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. That, I right. think that, but not like packs of cigarettes. I just want to give out one cigarette to each <laughs> child. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, this, this reminds me of something. Oh, I've, you're, I've, you're supposed to be Mr. T. You get a menthol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's, <laughs> that's. There's your new port. <laughs> I just, and then I was started. I was talking to my wife about it. I think it'd be really funny. And she was like, "You know, you you could probably go to jail for that." <laughs> so now I'm trying to like figure ways to do this and not go to jail. And my best solution was is to just get a bowl full of loose cigarettes <laughs> and put them on the porch and just put take one. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but but have a bunch of books and matches. <laughs> That's fucking great. Oh shit! Yeah, uh, I I, I want to address this just real quick. I've noticed on podcasts here lately with a lot of comedians, uh-huh. um, this fucking virtue signaling that's happening a lot. Uh, a question that seems to be getting thrown around. I've heard it on a few here lately, where people are like. So, like, if they paid you $5 million to do, like, a commercial for cigarettes, would you do it? And they're, oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. That is so easy to say when nobody's offering you $5 million <laughs> yeah, yeah. to do a commercial for cigarettes, <laughs> especially in a day and age where they no longer do cigarette commercials. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, it's real fucking easy to stand on your fucking eye horse. I don't know of anything I wouldn't do for five million dollars i would endorse (laughs) al-qaeda for five million dollars yeah yeah uh yeah okay uh next one hey do you like virgins (laughs) do you hate infidels (laughs) okay uh next question what would be a terrible wedding gift well one menthol Shits for Halloween, not uh. fucking weddings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm actually going to have a menthol bar at that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I put a new car. 
Okay. Okay. And and I think that's really really tricky because it's like yeah you get them the new car but they have to make all the fucking payments on it. That's the biggest dumbest fucking gift to give well, anybody. Then it's really not a gift. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, but you got it there for them though. You got it delivered to the wedding. You know. Sure. So that's mine. All right. Yep. How about you? Me? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, the the easiest thing to say is like a, a gift certificate to a divorce lawyer. Yeah. But uh, I'm gonna go with uh, a Blu-ray. Uh, intro to pegging. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. think that is a uh, that's a pretty bad wedding gift. That is a pretty bad wedding. She yeah. should already know how to do. That. I was gonna say this, <laughs> this is in review at this point. That's so what, that's what this relationship was built on. Exactly. Okay, next question. Can, can I give my real answer? Oh, well, I thought if, that was your real. What answer? if it's her in no, the I, intro in the video? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that suck. <laughs> what? She's like, seen it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to turn this on. We've already. I've already seen this. <laughs> Jeremy. What's your real answer? Um, I don't remember now. <laughs> I, I farted it away. I, I had a literal brain fart. Rotary phone. <laughs> like like the old style yeah. that bolts to the fucking wall. Yeah. That you can't pick up. <laughs> that. Oh shit. Okay. With multiple lines. <laughs> it's got like the it's got the push buttons to go to the other fucking lines. Right. Oh shit. Okay. Next question. What's a lesson every person should have to learn firsthand? Don't cross the highway on foot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Yep, saw that twice in the last month. Um I I uh I, this is a real one. Uh don't put icy hot on your dick. Don't do it. That's mine. Jeremy? There's lots of them. <laughs> don't pay the hooker up front. <laughs> That's true. You got some more? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't marry the Japanese. They talk a lot. Uh, I guess I guess they have to learn this for themselves. They got to learn not to marry Japanese people. <laughs> right. Oh shit. Don't call Japanese people Heidi. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, next question. Uh, this is the last question. What's a strange way to die at a state fair? I I honestly uh, think about this sometimes. Falling out of the squirrel cages or the squirrel cages like come undone and you're trapped in that fucking steel hell. I'm just, I don't want to do that. Squirrel cages. Yeah, they're like it's like a it's like a t- not a tilt was a merry go round but they're they enclose you. Yeah, Ferris wheel. Thank you. It's like a Ferris wheel. Only you're oh, like, like caged one of those in. Scary the, flip over one. Yes, like a zipper the, or whatever. I don't know what they called. call them, but that's yeah. There's just regular Ferris wheels, but there's like a cage instead of a, an open air seat. There's like a cage around it, and it will it will fucking it tumble will fire, in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, and and if you don't uh, if you don't buckle up, you're gonna be yeah. rattling around in that fucking and, steel cage. And I don't know that you could really trust a state fair seatbelt, even if you did buckle up. Right. I'd tie that, <laughs> I'd tie that fucker in a knot. I bring my own fucking. <laughs> Like uh, what do they call it? Torque driver and bolts <laughs> to, to give it a little extra <laughs> to hold on to. I JB weld the buckle mm-hmm. in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're gonna wait. Have to wait about five minutes for this to drive. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I'm holding up the whole line. Here's an extra ticket. <laughs> uh, how about you? Me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, strange way to die at the state fair. I would say. Uh, when a gypsy puts a curse on the butter sculpture and it strangles you to death with its soft, <laughs> delicious hands. Oh my God! What that, the that's not that strange. No, that's, honestly, that is, that's, that's, that's not the, probably not, fourth or fifth most common way. Yeah, especially at the die. Kansas State it's Fair. Soft, Holy shit! Soft, delicious hands. Yeah. How about you there, Jeremy? Uh, tonsillectomy complications. <laughs> what? <laughs> You just get your tonsils taken out at the state fair on a regular basis? <laughs> he said he could. <laughs> okay. For tickets. You huh? spun the wheel. Oh. Yeah. I mean, got tonsils. <laughs> got tonsils. And Normally, I got to pay cash. They take tickets. I mean, oh it was the fucking God. ride-a-rama. <laughs> I went on, on a fucking Wednesday night. I paid twenty three ninety nine. ride all the fucking rides you want. I got on that fucking surgery ride. I mean, granted, my tonsils aren't bad, but... I don't need them. <laughs> you get all the ice, ice cream you can fucking eat. That's true. That's true. Take them out. All right. Well, that is questions and preguntas. Oh, actually, no. I'm going to say, I'm going to go with a better one. Okay. You get shot by that Tommy gun fucking BB gun thing that you got to shoot the star out with. <laughs> yeah. Somebody fucking loses control of that and fucking just puts 100 rounds in you. 
<laughs> okay, fine. That seems more likely yeah. to happen. Kind of like the boat races where they squirt water out there. Somehow you get trapped and somebody drowns you with the water that's been shooting out of that thing. I think that would suck. That's a bad way somebody to die. Somebody just you, waterboards you. Waterboards you to death. Fuck, thing. fuck yeah. Uh, but yeah, anyway. All right, well, that is questions and preguntas. Now Throws we get to get on. Tooth. Yeah, exactly. Now we get to move on to a very favorite part of every single episode. This is our Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, last week, uh, I believe Jeremy won. Uh, Clayton ended up Got coming. Him right, I did. Yeah, of fucking course. dominated. Bullshit. Uh, so I came. Hard. I came in second, uh, and Fred came in uh, was it third. Fred or Eric? It was Fred. Week. It was Fred last yeah, week. Yeah, Fred last week. Okay. Um, but anyways, yeah. So that means that uh, Jeremy gets the championship uh, picks this week. I get the yeah, the I'm sandwich. Get myself a belt. Yeah, go get yourself a fucking belt. Or, or be you cool enough to, that. or be cool enough to have them send one to you for free. That's all we ask. I don't want to be that cool. Okay, well, that's really fucking cool. Uh, but anyways, uh, I get the sandwich picks this week, and because Derek has missed uh, quite a bit, he gets to be the first pick uh, because he's a fucking loser. Uh, but this week's draft, this one's gonna be fun. This is going to be a draft of the worst places to have to take a dump. So, uh, yeah, dude, you get the first pick. Let's kick this shit off, literally. Uh, on an airplane. God damn it. That is, that is number one for me. Oh, Jesus. That is 100% the best pick out of all of them. God damn it. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to go, oh, let's see. I have a couple that I really want, but I, I think the worst, the worst one, I think it's, it's gotta be like the dingy gas station where you have to get a key. Okay. I think that one. Yeah. That's on my list. Awful. Where you walk in and then you're just like, not that one. Keep driving. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. How about you, Jeremy? You get two back to back, dude. <clears throat> okay. Explain to me the rules here. You're taking uh, a dump in these places. Okay, I'm going to go with that uh, tumbly Ferris wheel at the fucking state fair. <laughs> <laughs> places with a toilet, uh, Jerry. Oh, there has to be a toilet? No, I don't think there has to be a toilet. You don't think so? No. There's been situations where I haven't been able to get to one. <laughs> well, I think that's you're going in that direction. I mean, these are the worst places to have to take a dump. Well, I'm going to go oddly specific then and say a porta potty at the state fair. Okay, Ooh. yeah, that's a good one. I was hoping that one would come back. That uh, reminds me, last week after the show, I get in my car and the radio was on the Royals game. And it was on a commercial, and I just hear them say, the official portable restroom of the Kansas City Royals. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> oh, that's God. That's so bad. Did they need an official <laughs> porta shitter? I mean, <laughs> of course. What the fuck? Yeah. Okay, you get one more there, Jeremy. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go with uh, at the doctor's office. Ooh, Ooh. okay. Uh, let's see. They're usually nice, clean facilities, but everybody knows they're – why what you're doing in there yeah they do and uh that's usually when you'll get called <coughs> mm -hmm. is when you're in there <laughs> when you're in that's a good fucking point and and somebody will yeah he's shitting <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's hairy he's shitting okay so i get the next pick um i don't think they have no yeah they do but I, god damn it i guess i'm gonna go with I'm going to go with the situation that actually has happened to me. I'm going to say a total stranger's house. Hmm. This has happened to where I was on a walk uh, long. It was a while ago, and I had to go, and I had to go and knock and ring a doorbell. So I'm going to go with that. Ooh, that sucks. Yeah, you had to blow up a complete total stranger's <clears throat> bathroom. Yeah. Okay, Derek, you get two. Prison. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> When I did my hard 48, <laughs> I was in a holding cell with these, with a bunch of fucking people. There, it was a cell made for three fucking people. There were at least a dozen of us in there, but one guy had to shit. And 
uh, his buddy who was also in there with, I don't know if it was on the same charge or not, uh, but basically his buddy just sat there hitting the fucking flush button the whole time <laughs> while he shit in front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. No, it wasn't. No. <laughs> to you, it's not. Nope. Uh, I got one more. Yeah, you get one more. Uh, Greyhound bus station. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's bad. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, this this one kind of rings home for me. But I'm going to go with at a sporting event. That uh, is never fun. Right in the trough. Oh, that's yeah, <laughs> in the trough. <laughs> Then that guy slides down. <laughs> that's, right. that's so disgusting. But that's the worst. You're missing the game, and you have to take a shit, and it's just... It's, you it's don't bad. miss as much as you do at a concession stand. Correct. <laughs> miss three fucking innings. Yep. How about you there, Jeremy? Um, I'm going to need a ruling on this. Okay. On the Greyhound bus itself. <laughs> <laughs> They have they have bathrooms. They do. That was the one I was gonna I was gonna actually pick, but I was like, I don't even think I, they I have it. I was very anymore. happy to hear do. Derek say station. Yes. Um, <laughs> well, you get uh, one get more. Uh, campsite. Fuck me. Out in the fucking woods. Yeah, in the woods. Damn it. Yeah, that's that's what, you guys are you guys are picking like very well. Yeah. I've got a story about that. My dad, so this is that was going to be on my list. I didn't think anybody would pick it. Uh, my dad's friend, Leo. Leo was a big white guy from Compton, uh, and he was a hillbilly. <laughs> and they were out. I forget where they were at. They were out in the woods camping, and Leo had to take a shit. So Leo just goes off into the woods and because he, he wasn't going to make it. So he just, just stumbles off into the woods, into the trees, and he's, squats down and he's taking a shit and as soon as he starts to wipe his ass he looks up and he's right in front of a family (laughs) there's a picnic table they're all sitting down to have dinner and leo's just right there (laughs) shitting and just goes sorry brother (laughs) i I don't in that situation (laughs) do you come off better if you take the time to wipe (laughs) Or if you just recognize it and get out of there and wipe later. Because no matter what, they're going to be talking about it. Forever. But are they going to be like, and get this. The son of a bitch didn't even wipe, (laughs) filthy fuck. Oh, God. All right. Well, my pick is going to be at a house party. That is extremely awkward. And especially you now create a line <laughs> to the bathroom. Wouldn't that be a stranger's house? Uh, no, uh, no, it's, it's a house party, man. Is Kid and Play there? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Kid and Peel, you mean? And Dragon Breath. No, Kid and, and Play. Uh, That's Key and Peel. Key and Peel, my bad. You didn't see the movie House Party? Yeah, it's been a long time. <sighs> Should have left you. I smell without pussy. Without a dough. Step two. Step two. <laughs> you smell pussy? You smell that, Jeremy? I smell pussy. <laughs> All right, Derek, you get your last two. Wasn't that full force? Um, I'm going to go your pants. <laughs> oh, come on. I think there has to be a toilet involved in this. Oh, yeah, I guess not. It's campfire. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a place to choose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you trying to get out of some stuff? <laughs> yeah, you're like, well. So I'm going to go with your pants. A and then field. The last one, I'm going to go with, uh, God, I'm between two, but I'm going to go with this. At an open house. <laughs> oh, that one's good. I like that one. Uh, my friend Steve had that happen. Close uh, that son of a bitch down. <laughs> oh, my God. He, Peters? No. Oh, okay. uh, Holt. Steve. Okay. Oh, uh, good. Oh, that's he, good. He uh, had uh, he flips homes, but he flips like half million, million dollar homes. And, yeah. mm-hmm. and he does it the right way. I mean, he, he, he doesn't fucking cut corners on costs. I mean, they're gorgeous. And he For was those having, of you on the east and west coast, that means a five to ten million dollars. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yes. Uh, they're beautiful homes, and he'll completely go in and gut and flip them. And he'd gotten one done. It was, it was. I think it was selling for just under a million dollars. And uh, they had an open house for it, and somebody went upstairs. The, there was no plumbing. Like the plumbing was hooked up, but they didn't have water on or anything. Mm-hmm. And somebody took a shit and left it <laughs> oh, because they couldn't awful. flush it. So he had to go and buy water <laughs> and dump it in to flush it. He said it stunk the entire fucking house up. Because I don't know if you know what the water does 
for yeah. a shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, a poop. Yeah, <laughs> for, a poop. <laughs> for a poop, but it helps knock out that smell. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, in, yeah. In the, yeah. Yeah. If you shit in an empty toilet, like on Jackass, mm-hmm. when he did that oh, on the fucking God, show yeah. on the floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Because. <laughs> Because that's my final pick. Is it? It's a broken Take toilet. It. Yeah. Broken toilet is my final pick. Jeremy, who gets your last pick? <laughs> Got to go hardware store. <laughs> yeah, hard, hardware store showroom floor seems <laughs> pretty fucking bad. Showroom yeah. floor. I, I, I'll give it to you I, at this point. I, no, I'm, I'm going to go with the uh, aisle way of an aircraft manufacturing plant. <laughs> <laughs> You automatically yeah, that's, get to That's it. fucking fantastic. <laughs> I lost this draft, and I don't give a shit. I am so it happy. Sounds that, like you do. No, yeah. Five times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I tell you what, I am glad that you took that final pick, oh, Jeremy. That, that is, that's I mean, that is, that's just absolutely perfect for you. Good <laughs> picking, sir. Great picking, in fact. Uh, oh, Thank man. Oh, man. You. I do my best. <laughs> All right. Well, you can go and vote for Derek and especially Jeremy uh, on Wednesday. Uh, before noon, I normally have the draft up Draft up on Facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines. Click on the corresponding emoji of whatever list you think is the worst places to have to take a dump. Uh, in the next uh, episode, whoever wins gets a pat on the butt after you guys, they wipe yeah after they wipe right. well right <laughs> yeah whether anybody's watching or not <laughs> right <laughs> uh and wash their fucking hands right um anyways uh did you have any uh, honorable mentions i i honestly after the first uh your guys's picks were all of my picks so uh i didn't really have a whole bunch of other ones uh, movie theater that's one. Oh, when you're okay. watching a fucking movie and you got a shit, you know you're going to miss a huge fucking chunk of the movie and you can't go pause it. <laughs> <laughs> they, they won't. They will not. They run a tight ship over there. That's that's true. I don't know. You had, I, had, I had dive bar. Yeah. Oh, a yeah. Dirty, bar. nasty dive bar. Yeah, that's true. Uh, uh, like at uh, what, Kirby's Beer Store oh, here in yeah. town. I mean, it's already just saturated in a thin layer of piss. And there's one toilet and no yes. urinal. So, like, if you're in there, the next guy in is walking right into and, that. And the, the only lock on the door is, like, one of those hook things on a loop. Thing yes. Is. Yeah. Yes. So somebody can still... I mean, just one forceful pull and that fucking door's yeah, coming open. You, well, d- you get dumb and dumber and end up getting freaking like mouth face <laughs> raped by, well, right. <laughs> by and I've, sea bass. Sea I've bass. told the story here that I was at that bar in Lawrence. I think it was the Granada. It was a concert venue, and they had the concert, and I went to take a leak, and I walk in the bathroom, and the bathroom's full. The urinals are all along all the walls, and then there's one shitter with no walls. That's what I was just yeah. getting ready to say is that yeah. one toilet in the bathroom surrounded yeah. by urinals with no, like, dividers so everybody can see you shit while they pee. I also had in a public pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. And uh-huh. on the side of the road because yeah. uh, that's happened. <laughs> Have you ever that's had to do Caddy that? Uh, once. Once? Once on the side of the road, yeah. Oh, my God. It's the worst fucking thing ever. I have not, but my, my wife has. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. Oh, yeah. She was not. Caused a 15-car pileup. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, I guess my, I shouldn't say who it is, somebody in the family, <laughs> they tell a story about uh, when they went to vacation to the beach, and uh, she was just a little girl at the time, but she had to poop and, like, had just recently been potty trained, so they didn't want to have her go in her suit so they had her go behind this big rock on the beach uh and so she just went not realizing that on the other side of the rock there's a whole nother beach with plain side of everybody <laughs> and everything <laughs> and she just did her business and didn't even know <laughs> that's fucking great yeah actually one of them just came to mind have you ever seen the movie rat race when he makes his daughter shit out the window of a moving car <laughs> yeah that movie is surprisingly funny. Okay. For I as dumb of a fucking concept as it is, Rowan Atkins in it is <laughs> so fucking funny. And he's talking. He's not even Mr. Bean in that. Mm-hmm. He's fucking way, funny. That's a way underrated movie. I'm surprised you actually... Uh, I know what you're thinking. Agree with that's me a on girl's that. name. Okay. <laughs> no, we weren't thinking that at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, we'll check that out tomorrow, or sorry, Wednesday. Uh, on uh, facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines. Go and vote for Derek or Jeremy. But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Shitty Situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, after the fall of the tyrannical dictator Idi Amman in the late 70s, the country of Uganda fell into extreme political, social, and economic strife. Uh, there was also a, a huge AIDS outbreak at the time that uh, they really couldn't uh, get a hold of. Uh, mostly because it would give you AIDS. Um, <laughs> and uh, so a lot of the people in the country turned to religion for comfort, and they joined various different relig religious groups. Uh, unfortunately, some of these groups not uh, totally on the up and up. They were what they call uh, cults. <laughs> uh, one in particular was one known as the Movement for the Restoration of the Ten Commandments, a, an organization who claimed to be a uh, Catholic organization, although they have... Absolutely nothing in common with the Catholic Church. Uh, one of the founders, Joseph Kibwitera, <laughs> or however the fuck you pronounce it, uh, almost immediately was uh, proclaimed the unanimous leader of the group because his wife claimed to see visions of the Virgin Mary. And uh, despite the fact that most of her uh, prediction or her, her uh, visions gave her predictions of absolutely ridiculous shit uh, that made absolutely no sense, uh, people were so desperate that they went ahead and followed, and they, they gathered a pretty big following over the next couple of decades. And uh, like with a lot of cults, eventually they started predicting the end of the fucking world. Um, guess what? They were wrong. <laughs> um, they, they predicted three fucking times, uh, and it never happened. And so... After that, some people started saying, uh, hey, you know how we gave you all of our money and all of our shit to get here, uh, and now that you didn't pan out, we want our money back. Uh, some of the people, they were able to say, hey, look, calm down. We know we were wrong. We figured it out. Uh, we know exactly when it's going to happen. So those people stayed. Other people still wanted their money back, to which they said, sure, we'll give you your money back. Those people were never seen from again. Uh, the, uh, the ones who decided to stay were told that uh, the date of March 17th of the year 2000 would most definitely be the end of the world. So everybody come down to the fucking church hall. We're going to have a big party. They roasted three bulls. They drank 70 cases of Coca-Cola. And then they detonated a sulfuric acid bomb, killing all 530 members inside. A later investigation showed that all of the windows and doors were boarded up to make sure that no one left. Oddly enough, through the investigation, uh, while most of the people have been identified, uh, the leaders of said cult have never been identified. So there's a good chance that they may still be out there with all these people's money and shit just living the good life. Uh, but now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, you've got to be shitting me. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great, Jeremy. Damn right it is. Yeah. That was worth it just for the you've got to be shitting me. 100%. Yeah. Uh, they had locations all over very similar scenes. Uh, over a thousand people. Jesus were killed. Christ, that sucks. I mean, technically, yeah, for them it was the end of the world. Yeah, yeah. Here's here's good advice. We're right? never gonna know the fucking difference, right? That's one of those things you're gonna have to learn firsthand. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, here's one. Yeah, yeah. Here's that's one of those fucking lessons. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't join a fucking cult. Yeah. God. Yeah. If somebody claims that they've spoken to God Himself and He answered. Uh, don't join that guy. <laughs> <laughs> maybe get away from that guy. Yep. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Okay, uh, but this is this week's laughing on the sidelines. Shitty situation. Oh, it's a good one. Uh, would you rather, during Halloween, when you are handing out something to the kids, would you rather hand out loose cigarettes or a handful of loose, raw ground beef? <laughs> We're talking a handful splat. Mm? Yeah. <laughs> So off air, these guys were John back and forth about all kinds of situations of this ground beef hand handing that out yeah. situation. We, I'm doing that 100%. This is going to be hilarious. And you guys can tell them what we were talking about. I, 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 you go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Jeremy. <laughs> well, if, if you do the ground beef, you have to answer the door dressed as the hamburger helper helping hand. I like the idea of Joe Camel in a butcher smock. <laughs> That too. Okay. You uh, alternate whenever kids come up. So 
but you've got to pick one or the other. If you're giving out the ground beef, the Joe Camel thing wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. But, I mean. Yeah, good point. Here, yeah. Here's, right. here's the thing with that. So, see, your, your fucking premise is flawed. You've been gone too long. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, they. Uh, one of them is gross and disgusting. The other is illegal. <laughs> you can't give cigarettes to minors. Um, however, I question whether some of the trick or treaters that come to our house actually are minors. They, <laughs> they look like fucking young adults who just came from the bar. They're in sweatpants and uh, they just want candy because they can't pay for fucking breakfast. Um, but no, I. Uh, I'm definitely going with the ground beef. Oh. However, if given the choice, I'm going to go with the ice cream scooper to, <laughs> okay. to put it in there. No handful? No, because I, I got a cut on my hand. Oh, yeah. I don't want to get, you know, E. coli. Yeah, you're worried you're going to spread that out I, to those kids? Every time that you deal with anything ground beef Halloween-ish, uh, <laughs> you, you want to wear your plastic gloves, you want glasses or goggles. Yeah. Uh, mask at all times. <laughs> yeah, it'll give you AIDS, <laughs> like in Uganda. Right. Oh uh, shit! How about you, there, Derek? Man, I was all on board with the cigarettes uh, until, God, just the image of a bloody pillowcase. <laughs> the the cops with, are too busy that fucking night. They are. <laughs> it's just parents that you got to deal with. Right, filled with fucking just like. Rancid S ground Snickers beef. and Kit Kats and Butterfingers and then a handful of beef. <laughs> I just raw beef. And that just imagine, oh wow, your 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 pillowcase is even bloody. That's extra scary. Yeah. They're like, no, that's that asshole on Bleecker Street. <laughs> that's not even good ground beef. 70 30. Yeah. It's this shit ground beef out of the tube. Uh, I just uh, you I got I, it at Aldi's. Yeah. That kid gets home and the mom's like, let me check your candy to make sure there's no poison. <laughs> <laughs> let me see that beef. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, seventy thirty cheap shit. <laughs> this shit's still three ninety nine a pound. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Might as well have given at least it wasn't apples. Yeah, it's yeah. cheaper than fucking candy. Oh god, so, I, yeah, I gotta go with the. No, it's not. It's not. No, that's like you're putting two dollars into a bag each time oh. you get a fucking. I like, like the apple. idea now of putting it on a stick and dipping it in caramel and have candy. Oh ground yeah, beef. Mm -hmm. yeah, I like that. Yeah, uh, beef. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. If I had a a bag of candy. And somebody put ground beef in it. I'm still eating that candy. <laughs> <laughs> that does not ruin the candy for me. It's in sealed wappers. Oh, it washes off. Jesus Christ. Even the circus peanuts. Even, even, even the circus peanuts. Even the Spanglers. Yeah. Okay. Come on. No, <laughs> nobody's giving out authentic Spanglers <laughs> for Halloween. Nobody's got that kind of jack. <laughs> oh, the references to previous episodes <clears throat> on this episode are awesome. That means you need to go back and listen up, kids. There's a whole bunch of episodes. In fact, we are windling down to our 200th episode is coming up. So, is, so Derek never did say what, which one? Oh are you yeah, going sorry. With the ground beef. Oh yeah. yeah, I'm going ground beef. Yeah, okay. he, ground he, beef. He did. I think he said it. You just didn't hear. I, it. I don't listen. Yeah, you don't. Uh, but yes, we do have our live show here in Wichita, Kansas, on October the 22nd. That is a Saturday. Uh, the doors open up at four, I believe, and then the show starts at 5 yep. p.m. Um, we are now, we're getting ready to start putting the show together. So I'm really, really excited. We're going to have a fucking awesome, awesome time. Uh, the tickets are almost completely sold out. There are a couple of tickets still left. There's like 20 left. Heck yeah. And so it is 18 to enter. So you can come if you are 18 or older. Um, but yeah, I think tickets are still $10. And if you're and under 18, Scotty will make you come outside. <laughs> no, I will not. That is, uh, no, that he is will his meet thing. you out there. Yeah, he already said he would. Yeah. He no, will I meet didn't. you out there and jerk you off no. in the street. That's mm -hmm. so wrong. With his mouth. No. <laughs> yep. Absolutely not. Uh, but no, there are still. This is a, where my thumbs are. <laughs> yeah. A couple of tickets available. Sorry, my hand's been tied behind my back for 30 mm. days. <laughs> yeah. The link to those tickets are in our Facebook bio, our TikTok bio, and our Instagram bio. So you can go and check, check that out. Uh, we would love to see you guys. We are going to have an awesome, awesome time, awesome night. We already, uh, I guess the uh, Steve fucking uh, fixed the stage. Yeah, the stage, stage looks gorgeous. freaking gorgeous. It sounds like he built a fucking stage. Yeah, he, it's, didn't, it's he what didn't it, fix it. He yeah. made a brand new one. <laughs> he did. 
Uh, so it's going to be a really, really good time. Uh, we are going to stick around after the show mm. and uh, meet a couple of you. It'll be a, a really, really good time. So I'm check guessing that we're going to meet all of them. I think so, I yeah. Mean, we're not yeah. just picking out select ones and then the rest yeah. of them like, fuck you. Yeah, some <laughs> of them are winners. You know, some of them aren't. Hit you the stay, bricks, yeah. jackass. Yeah, you right. stay at least 50 feet away from me, you motherfucker. Okay, yeah. fine. I'll just sit at the other end of the, the I desk. I like it. Okay. Yeah, you're the only one I won't pose for a picture with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And God if I do, it. I'm going to crop you out and jerk off. To you. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, seriously. Can we really tell them that you guys really do actually like me off camera? We don't. We, yeah. I don't want to yeah. lie to the people. That's one thing about this. I've never told a lie. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Not once. Not once. I've never exaggerated. Okay. I've never been joking. Yeah. Nothing. Well, welcome to all the new listeners. Hope you enjoyed this episode and to all the old ones. Guys, uh, we sincerely do appreciate everything that you do. The show continues to grow. Uh, and we sincerely do appreciate it. That is because of you guys. And as we always like to say, guys, if you would do us a favor and tell your friends if you like us. But if you don't like us. Uh, we hope that every trick-or-treater that comes to your door is dressed as sexy Dahmer. <laughs> oh, my God. If you don't like us. Tell your enemies. And until next time. Pork, the other white meat. <laughs> Fuck. Until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. We will see you all later. Take care.